Right, hello, welcome uh, to this Trains live stream. Uh, okay, um, right, as you can tell there, all right, no, you can't tell that because it's not running yet, the thing, but that I mean the <laughs> red, yellow, green, we've, we've got a traffic light in chat, yeah, right. Uh, let me switch over the sound. And by that I mean sound. Uh, train's already running, as you can probably tell by the frame rate of the camera. Now let's see, do I need to change the volume thing? Don't think so. I do. Ah, uh, that should be fine. Right. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello there, uh, Hello. chipmunk. Hello, chipmunk. Right. So, um, there was a new. That sounds quite annoying. If you are going, if you want to cheat, if... you know what? Uh, I have to kick you for one second. No, I'll disconnect. Because that is quite annoying. And, well, for one thing, that is quite annoying. And if you want to be in voice chat, <laughs> don't use that. And secondly, I could very clearly hear myself over uh, your microphone. So, uh, yeah, if, if you want to be in voice chat, please just make sure there aren't any uh, background noises or, micro or uh, speakers being picked up. So... Uh, because I don't want the stream to be du the audio to be doubled over like it was last time. Um, so there go. Okay. Also, um, just as the stream started, I saw that five eight seven the bug the 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 bug Brian Brian oh it cut it off right Brian the bug Brian uh, five eight seven the bug Brian uh, coupled up. So you, you followed, thank you very much. Um, right. Um, as for voice chat, if you are 13 or older, then yes, I'll let you join. And if it works out, then great. Although I do reserve the right to brain, not Brian. Oh, brain, the bug brain. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, because it's cut off at the end. It's a bit confusing. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, <laughs> the back brain, yes. Um, because I do reserve the right to kick you off the thing, basically. <laughs> right, so, um, the, if you want to do, if you want to join, we can test it out, we can test it out. Uh, so you are, yes, uh, you are on Discord, Craig gets roasted, is that you? on Discord. Um, <laughs> hello, hello Mr. W. Long time no see. Oh wait. Um, yes, hello Kangafango, hello Anthony, Sarsen too, it's been a while. Um, Trellis, someone followed right when you went live. I know, I made a screenshot of it so I wouldn't uh, lose the name. Um, at least you sound less tired than uh, Saturday's stream. Well, for one thing, it is Saturday stream, and secondly, I, I am tired. <laughs> I, I am tired. Um, and yes, you're right. Yo, hey, hello. Uh, voice changer. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, sorry. Can I join? Here. I'll try. Now. I think the voice changer is off. Brain, not Brian. Yeah. Thanks for correcting me. Uh, here. Try. I'll try now. I think the question is off. Yeah, I'll join back into the stream once I've caught up with the chat. Um, where can I join? I need to give you the role to join. I need to give you the role to join. Um, what is your age? Because I need to know for legal reasons. Um, your name is read for me, and uh, you've got Anthony's green on stream. Mm -hmm. I'm on watch now. Great. Um, so what are we doing? Any? 
what are we doing? We we're, we're gonna do trains building. Uh, what is going on? I can't. I cannot hear anyone. I'm not in voice chat. I, I've only I've went out and I'm going to go back in. Uh, once I finished reading, chat. Mr. W said last Saturday stream. Oh, last Saturday. Yeah, you can tell that I'm tired because I'm getting stuff wrong. Um. So what are we doing, anyways? We are going to do a uh, route building in trains building the Milton Valley Railroad. Um, I said last edition. Yeah. Uh, oh, you said Strom. There we go. Yep, I'm always tired. He said, shouting. I'll join when you join, Jaredice. Yeah, sure. So, um, five at seven, the bug brain. How old are you, please? I need to know before I can, um. allow you in. So actually, no. I'll rephrase that question. Are you 13 or older? If so, please write that. If not, then, well, that ends the conversation. You can't use, uh, you can't use Twitch anyway with, without violating their terms of service. So, or terms of use. Um, can I do a request? If you want to. Uh, Right, I'm gonna have pop into a voice chat now. If you, again, I need to know the, know the age. Also, if there ends up being too many people in voice chat, I don't mind not being in it. Oh, well, I would mind, because it's nice having you in voice chat. That's very nice. Um, yes, I wouldn't like it if you weren't in voice chat anymore. Uh, right. Uh, nope, it's not. It's still on. Uh, dude, answer the question. Are you 13 or above? No, no, it's fine. He, if he wants to answer, then he can answer. If not, then not. It's completely up to him. Uh, no, don't leave us. Frick. Frick. You mean the thing with the where they get the oil out, the fricking the, the, the thing. Is that? Oh, no, that's fracking. Sorry, my mistake. Now is it off? Uh, it sounds like it's off, yes. Unless you've always been using one, in which case uh, it sounds like that one. Right, so, so let's... the voice is still on. I've, I've never used one before this. Well, you have. You've said that you used one that makes you sound more Australian. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I just made myself sound like I have, I have a British accent. But yeah, is it off? Uh, um... Yeah. You sound normal to me. Hello, right. hello. hello Mr. W. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hey. Hey. I saw your thing about um, a lack of background noise. Hmm. Uh, so I've got my headphones in. Oh, thank you very much. That is considerate of you. Oh, yeah. If, if Kanga Fango says that my vo the, the voice changer is better, then yeah, it's better. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not even a voice changer, but yeah. Okay, so... Um, what was the thing, the request? Um, no, don't leave us, yes. Uh, yes. Reskin a Canadian National C48 to CSX C48 YN3B. Um, Back in a bit. Okay. I'm going to have to, unfortunately, reject that request at this time because I can't, uh... I don't know if the time is really good. If I had, I could probably. Uh, get permission to do it. Oh, I'm not putting my head Back. Yes, was that you singing? Me? Yeah. Oh, I've been caught out. I've, I, I think I've rather been caught out. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was nice. How clear? How clear was it? Uh. I heard singing, but I was talking over it, so I don't think that the lyrics oh, yeah. were that audible. <clears throat> Although now that I've said yeah, that, that, people might go back in the archive and try to make it out, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> try to work out what it was. Yeah. All I'll say is that it's quite a famous one. That's yeah. all I'll say. It's not going to look famous. Hang on. Wow. Back a bit in again. I'm... Hang on. Back a bit. Back, Are you off to sing some more? Back, back in a bit again. I'm just going to open a window. Um, yeah, I'm going to open a window. Okay. Actually, that's a thing that I might need to do as well, but there was some, um, uh, 
What's the word for it? <coughs> What's the English word for Sherlock? Is it? Oh, there was some thing is. Oh, yes. Exhaust air. No. Thing is. Yes. Uh, thing uh. is, I know. I've opened the window. I know that in about five minutes it's going to start raining. So then I'll have to get up and shut them again. Oh, do you think the rain would come well, in the window? Well, yeah, it's on that position because it's a slanted roof. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah. Chardice, I don't know if you saw in the channel chat that I told you I'm working on something big with the roof yes. that looks bad. I'm doing a completely overhauling it. Like, it's going to be the same roof, same map, same track layout, just a different, like, overhaul on the terrain around it. Yeah, I've done that as well. And at first, it feels really, really uh, frustrating because you've put work into it and now you're supposed to get rid of it just to do it again. But when you actually do well, do it, then it always, always ends up being better than before. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to keep as much as I can in it instead of just like taking down absolutely everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, by the way, redoing the ballast because that was awful. Yes. Um. Right. If someone. It, by the way, is this mic a bit too loud? No, no, the mic is fine. The mic it's is absolutely loud. fine. Okay. It's It's okay. fine. The, the mic. Just want to make sure because people say. Yeah, mm. people usually say it's loud, so that's why. It was yeah, just it depends also on what I've got my volume set as because I've got my volume set usually set a bit quite low. Um, yeah, I did put um, your, your your user volume down a bit because it was a little loud for me anyway. Um, oh, okay. uh, um, Bug Bug Brain uh, asks what it, what this route is. Um, this is the Milton Valley Railroad. It will be released as payware DLC when it's finished, and not a femtosecond before. Right. So. Um, I think I've already done quite a bit of progress today because I've actually connected this side of the fields to this side of the fields now with the grass. I'm, I'm actually working on the route now. Uh, I can't, I can, I can't hear you. You're too, way too quiet for me now, uh, Anthony. For me, your mic volume from before was good. Hello? Hello. Is that better? It is still okay, is it is still quite quiet. That is such a good combination of words, isn't it? Um, I just don't. Want, yeah, Mr. W to get his ears blown away. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. If that happens, I'll just put uh, I'll just put uh, the user volume down for me. Yeah. So uh, as loud as you want, as well as shower dice is okay with okay, it. Okay, how's, hmm. that, how's that shower dice? Yeah, that's good. Uh, also, hey. better now. Who? Hello. Okay. I meant better than the chipmunk one. <laughs> a million dreams. Sure. Nope. Ah, what is it? Okay. Uh, the one Shadows is working on is his own, the Milton Valley Railroad. Apart from one base board, the entire thing was done on stream. It was. Um, he's been streaming it since June last year. Why is it kind of laggy? Uh, that is because oh, of my Mac that I'm running it on. There's a late 2015 uh, Retina mm. Mac. So, uh, yeah, it is... TRS-19 is really not that good for it, but if you're, if you've got, um, if you're running TRS-19 and it's usually not laggy, then this route will be fine for you. It will not lag. Um, mm. But for me, TRS-19 is, is a bit laggy in general. So, um, yeah, it's not this route's fault. It's, it's my computer. Um, half a decade old now. Well, more. Yeah. Oh, hello, hey, uh, DD Chani Eleven. Welcome to the stream. It's good to have you. Uh, hiya. Yes. yes. I had no idea who that is. Uh, someone who's been watching the stream. Risk in a CSX oh, wow. ES44 AC to Norfolk Southern ES44 AC. Again, no. When yeah. the when I'm going to I'm going to reskin yeah. something. Um, I'm going to reskin skin locos for this route here. When it's finished, when I before I start making the sessions. I'm going to reskin some locos, maybe some ro some uh, um, cars as well, if I can do that. 
Oh, and by the way, um, if you are the things the 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 the, the, the voice text channel on Discord. That's not a channel that I'm reading on stream. If you want to say something to me on stream, type it in chat, please. Um, yes. I mean, the main reason for that is just space, because I don't have the screen real estate, as it were, <clears throat> to actually have that. <laughs> it's screen real estate. Yeah. Now, now confirmed a new company, screen real estate. Yep. Mm -hmm. That actually sounds pretty decent. Yeah. By the way, do you know where the word real estate comes from? Here we go. Not really. No, but I'm sure you're going to tell us. Well, no. if you want me to. I go on. The word sure. real estate comes yeah. from royal oh. estate. So, uh, oh. real estate, because the thing is, you can't actually own real estate. If you own real estate, then it's actually still... Uh, the government <laughs> actually owns it, hence why you have to pay taxes. Because if it was your Not property, yet. then you wouldn't have to pay someone else to live there. So it actually makes sense if you think about it that, that way. You can, only, you can only own fake estate, of course. Yes. I mean, I own actually 24 <laughs> acres of fake estate. <laughs> Which is grand, because it doesn't take... Uh... Oh, damn it, Kango, you made that rule. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Uh, let's um, see. Should I question uh, what's going? Mr. Yeah, well, w, should I question what's going on? Should I question what's going on, Mr. W? The what? The, what's going on? What in terms of what? Like, 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 yeah, like fake estate or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. The what joke. I'm saying. It's 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 real estate as opposed to fake estate. It's a, it's a gap. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I was joking. Uh, right, where was it? Right, uh, I'm not I'm exactly brain. the smartest person in the world. Uh, Bug Brain uh, asks, "Can he help in reskinning?" Um, uh, really, all the chat there is so far. Well, perhaps, perhaps. The thing is, the um, I'm not quite sure what the uh, what the what's the word? The color scheme scheme is going to be like for this route. I've got an idea, but I'm not quite sure yet. So I'm going to try out different variants. But if you want to reskin some locos or rolling stock, once I've made the actual uh, oh. color scheme pattern, the livery, that's the word, livery. Once I've made the livery, then if you want to reskin some stuff in that, then yeah, sure, I'd be happy with that. However, what? You, Wait, it has, sure it has to be on the DLS. What, what locomotive do you want to reskin? I, I re might be able to help you. I want to reskin. Well, I'm definitely going to be using F7s, and I do also already have permission from one author to uh, reskin some of his stuff, which I haven't done yet, but I do have permission. Um, as long as I credit okay. him, which of course I would have done, anyways. Um, also, a few other locos from like the 50s or 60s, that sort of. Time range. What is, what is that called? I can try and reskin it and maybe send it to you. Um, it the thing is, okay. So for one, okay, one thing. Uh, okay, well, uh, actually, thing one is probably a better way of saying that. Uh, everything that I'm using in this route and the sessions has to be either built in with TRS-19 or available on the DLS. Which means that if anyone wants to make a reskin in Milton Valley livery, then that for me to use that, it has to also be available on the DLS, which means that you need yeah, no, to. Yeah, I know. Which, yeah, I'm just saying it for everybody who's watching. But like, what is the F7 code so that way I don't oh, right. get the wrong author? Um. Uh, I, for I forget what it's called. I've got the 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 private message on Transform still. Um. When, uh. When the route is finished, I mean, there is no really no point in making reskins now because I still need to come up. I need to come up with the actual official Milton Valley Railroad livery before um, any reskins can really be made. Yeah. Um. When you when you have the Milton Valley Railroad livery, like have an idea for it, just send it to me, and I'll try and reskin the locomotive for you if it, if it will work. Because I do have paint on it, so I can use that. Oh, yeah, well, that's a kind offer of, uh, for you. I may, I may take you up on that. 
But right. yeah, um, just DM me maybe or something if yeah. you, if you want me to. Yeah, thanks. Right, so. Um, actually, would you like a, me to post a uh, sneak peek of the redo? Um, sure. Train screenshots. Yes, sure. I'm curious now. Okay. Um, this is just this. This is just um a part. Uh, hold on. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Let me. Okay, uh, so I'm just gonna read chat find while it. you're finding it. Okay, good. Can I help in reskinning as opposed to fake estate? No. Snap. <laughs> Color scheme. <laughs> scheme. Yes, is that the same thing as in schedule, where it's schedule in British English and schedule in American English, so it's scheme and scheme, so that the British English is scheme? I've, I've got to say, I've not heard scheme before, um, so I've got a feeling it's scheme uh, for wherever, for everywhere. So, uh, yeah. The schedule, I think, it is British and American English, a difference with. With scheme, I think it might be the same pronunciation. That being scheme, mm. I think. I mean, I don't know as of con. I don't know, you know, concretely, but I think I found it. Let's see. Yep, I found it. I found it. Hold on, I just put it into screenshots. It lets me. Yeah, put that there. Upload. There you go. That's that's a bit of the redo for the yard. Uh, thanks. I'll have a look at it in a second. Let me just see how this is actually pronounced. So, no, it does look like there's only one pronunciation of it, which, so that scheme is probably correct. Um, can I show that and on? By the way, you do have permission to show it on stream. Yeah, I'm about can, to ask. You can show it on stream, by the way. About to ask. Thank you. Um, there we go. Hmm? I, I'm nothing to hide. Ah, yes, I know that ground I texture. Oh, I know that ground texture. I used <laughs> I used that ground Aww. texture when I first got trains. Uh, oh, and that station. That station as well. I used that station and the ground texture when I first got trains, which was like, oh, what, did? 2008, I think? Maybe, wow. maybe seven? I, I had no idea. Uh, wow, that's... Yeah. Yeah. Those are really nice assets. At just least. ignore the cars. Just ignore all the passenger cars. They're just gonna be moved later. Yeah, the trees also look quite good. The choice of asset you've got there. There it is. Oh, yeah. Late. yeah. That's just so far a sneak peek of it. Yes. I also, since this is mostly built-in assets, like I'm probably not gonna add multiplayer, but I actually might with freight, like local freight trains and um. That's if I can figure out how to add multiplayer. That's it. But yeah. Um, to add multiplayer. Like, so the, the multi for multiplayer to work, it's very very simple. All you need to do is go into the if okay, make a session, then go into session rules and add the multiplayer session rule. Then if that. Well, I mean, I'm not complete. The route is nowhere near complete. Yeah, yeah, but when so. it, when it is, uh, then to actually be able to play multiplayer that route and session needs to be available on the DLS. You need to upload it to the download station and then uh, sessions that have the multiplayer session rule on them will be um, able to be played on multiplayer. That's it. Which Except does I'm gonna have to, like, if I allowed to use, like, if I got the North American edition, do I use built-in assets with the North American edition? or? Um, you can use anything that's built in and stuff from the download station. Third party okay. assets. I mean, and I'm pretty sure most people who play on this first since it's North American are probably going to be from America. I mean, I don't know if you'll probably ever really do a multiplayer session with this, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you've got a route uploaded with a multiplayer I'm, session, then I'd love to. But yeah, I would um, have to find some built in trains. And by the way, I don't know if anyone would mind that there's not steam trains. Mm. So could you repeat that last uh, sentence, please? I don't know if anyone would mind if there's steam trains or not, but yeah. I like both. Well, technically all three. Well, te okay. I like all trains, basically. Except for the war oh, okay. trains, the, the armored trains, because there is a German... A train where they basically mounted a huge cannon 
on a flatbed, well, three flatbeds, that could actually shoot from France all the way to England. Oh, blimey. Oh, yeah. Another However, problem I'm actually having is for some reason, for some reason, whenever the trigger goes off for a railroad crossing, there's an invisible train that spawns in on the track eraser. So, and then it keeps the crossings on. I don't know why that is. Oh, so you're using ATLS crossings then? Yes. Um, I don't know about that. I use uh, TRC crossings. But anyway, oh, hold yeah. on. I just realized um, the pro I'm using jointed rail crossings, so I'm gonna have to get rid of these and change them to default. Mm. You can make a no payware filter. I if you go to the filter section and add a filter, then you can go to no, payware it's, it's, it's faults. Freeware. It's freeware. Yeah, but it, it can't it's be third. Freeware. Oh right, is there one for third party as well? I actually don't know. Uh, I. Uh, hold on. Let me go check the crossings to see. Join, jointed rail. Let me go check. Anyway, what I was saying before. Third party. Uh, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. What What I was saying before. Uh, the thing is that that cannon was really very ineffective because it was so big that it couldn't pivot. Which means it could only oh, shoot yeah. in the direction that the tracks were pointing in. So if they wanted to mm -hmm. shoot, mm -hmm. it, yes, it could shoot so many miles away that it could shoot from France all the way to Great Britain, but... Only in one direction. But you would have to park the train on a curve where the tracks are pointed directly the way that you wanted to shoot. <laughs> unless, you may, unless you mounted it, unless you put it on a turntable maybe? But it's probably not the best idea to put that much kickback on a pivoted yeah. piece of track, so... Oh my goodness. Yeah. And Although, that is actually quite good out. that it was this ineffective, because that means that it was yes. used less, so... Less, less wall. Yeah. What do you want to say, Oh well, yeah, um... So, how do I find out if these are third-party assets? You can go to the download station, and then search for the asset there. It should say whether it's third-party oh. or not. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. No problem. That's better. That's not flickering as much. Right, so how was everybody's day? It was yeah, well, okay. <laughs> mine wasn't too bad. Mine wasn't too bad, as you know. Yes, I know. Uh, it like, feels... where, I, I, I still can't believe... I still can't believe it was an NPC that messed us over. I mean, good for me. <laughs> well, technically it was the dice. Yeah, but... Right, uh, where, were you, where were you in chat? Um, I was actually just about to read chat. Uh, so let me do that. Oh, I'll read it while you're... Um, no, it's fine. If you do, I'll, I'll do it while you're... I'll read it while you're doing that. It's I was fine. at Color Scheme uh, or Scheme. Try yeah. nice. Color Scheme. That's the one. Uh, there you go. Yes, and color and color spell. Oh, stop putting stuff in chat. Um, you always say that when you're reading chat. Yes, you know, you'd you'd be a great um, you'd be a great streamer. Just people want so so <laughs> PS, so usually usually the thing is that you want to get people to interact more, but then for you when people mm. interact more, they're like, stop 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 doing it. <laughs> Not that that's yep, what you actually sound like, anyway, but it was uh, um, exaggerated. Anyway, uh, Kango and anyway, Kango and Color spelled to C O L O R and not C O L O U R because it's U S. Uh, shout out F seven, yes. Uh, Bug brain, because uh, I'm in your Discord and the username is Craig gets roasted. Um, uh, how about an S S D forty dash two and an S W one five zero? So those. I think are too modern. I may make sessions yeah. on this route that are, are more modern, like the 70s, 80s, maybe, maybe something even more modern than that. But for now, the plan is to have it set in the 50s or 60s. Yeah. And Kango Wait. says below. Uh, not ma maybe, maybe. Kango says below. Um, uh, maybe too modern, not sure. Uh, Cheney, the F7 from Trains Forge. I uh, don't think so, Cheney. Um, bug brain. Ha how about a, G a GG1? It's <laughs> not electrified, uh, so it can go or bug brain ah, or, or, one or an RS1. So uh, now that you so GG1, 
Yes, I love GG1 locomotives. They are very, very nice. Um, they are... I've used them on the Coleman Mountains Railroad, which will be released as payware soon. As soon as I can update the trailer and... Uh, the screenshots because I had to change stuff to speed trees, but yeah, uh, that will be payware. Will be uploaded soon. I've used GG ones there. Yes, I'm using the New Haven catenary system, which means that the uh, catenary it's basically a different system. It doesn't work really, but I don't care. I really like GG ones, <laughs> and um, it's just suspension of disbelief will take care of it. So yeah. Anyway, uh, yes. then can go to uh, Bug Brain. His other not yet released route features those. Uh, if Shadow Dice wants, he can tell you more about it. Uh, Shadow Dice, yes, 99% sure you both are right. Uh, Bug Brain, how about a Kodachrome scheme? Um, can go an evil scheme and an evil scheme. And me, yes, it's pronounced S C H E M E. Uh, can go, wait, what? I've definitely heard both. Me, really well, ne never mind then. Uh, Cheney, do you want to see my route? Uh, me, if you put it into the train stuff in the Discord, I'm sure he'll look at it when he can. Bug Rain, uh, go to screenshot. I just finished the front of the locomotive. Uh, can go to Cheney Shaw. It's uh, can go. It's pretty weird. I can't find the other scheme pronunciation now, but I've definitely heard both before. Uh, Cheney, can I send a link in chat? Uh, me to Cheney, go ahead. Uh, can go. There aren't any user stopping bots here. Bug Brain, well, I'm from the UK. <clears throat> can go. Uh, Russia also had a huge missile train car. Was never used, thankfully. It's in a museum now. Uh, normally the train car looked like a normal, really long box car. The roof could fold away and then the whole missile could be tilted outwards. Yes. A D Cheney with a link to, I presume, his his route. His uh, Kango yeah, uh, missile. Uh, Kango uh, missile train car and a link to a video. Uh, Kango, nice to uh, Cheney. Yes, indeed, uh, nice. Then Cheney, I think, another link. And I think Cheney with another link. Um... <laughs> Uh, Kango, it was the dice that made the NPC mess us over. Uh, Kango, again, all right, I'll stop now. Uh, D Cheney, did I put the same link? Ah, uh, yes. Um, Bug Brain, I just finished my A AWVR seven seven seven, and Kango, there we go. He did talk about, did talk more about it. Booyah! <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, I don't worry about it. Um Sure, nice. When I go to the DOS and I find the asset, I want to see if it's third party. Where do I see that? Uh, it should say in status, where it's either installed uh, from DLS or built in or payware. You may have to add the column. Oh, it... wait. Yeah, I have it installed. So. Uh, yeah, it should say installed third party or just third party. If it is third party. Uh, installed. It just says installed. It just says it's just says third. It just says installed the, on the top thing. Um, maybe could you make the maybe the column a bit wider, perhaps? Maybe that's the issue, because it should say installed from DLS Wait, if it's on. from the download station. Oh, let me share my screen so I can so you can tell me what I need to do. Nope. What'd you say? Nope, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Hold on. Uh, let me share my screen on the content manager so you can show me what to do. So it's this asset, like these assets here. Okay. Well, let me just um switch to the other view so that I'm don't I'm not sh uh, showing you your just... screen. Give me a minute. Um, one second. No, you 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 can show it on Damn camera, it. and you're, uh, you can show it on screen. But I have nothing to hide. Huh. Okay. So w what's the asset? Where is which one is it? So. It's these, but it's these, but I'm ah, not sure they're, they're all, they are they are done at once. They are modified, so you ha you have you must have modified those assets somehow. Oh. If you right click the asset. Oh, you, this thing. Yeah, that one. That's where it should say. That. If you right click yeah. and then go revert to original, it will change. It will revert the changes you've made. And then it. Oh, I haven't made any changes to this. Okay, well then you can revert to original, and then it should say where you've got it yeah. from. It still doesn't. I got it off a joint rail, but hmm. yeah. Reverse to original. That is a bit strange. Did you download those from a website? Do you know? Yes, I did. I did. I got if you it download, all right. Well, that, yeah. If you downloaded them from a website, then they are definitely third party. You okay. will, yeah. You will not be able to. So I can. So I can. You so can. You cannot use this on multiplayer. No, you can't use those on multiplayer. If you download something from a website, 
then you can't use that root or session with multiplayer. I know that it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know that it is uh, annoying, um, but it is the way that trains works. Also, I think trains crashed. Um, that was because of the saving. Um, oh, oh, that. Um, what is uh, the best like crafting or something that I can use on the DLS for this? Um, crossing. I would search on the DLS for yeah. TRC. I think it's TRC. TRC. Yes. Yeah, TRC, because the TRC crossings are really easy to set up. All you need to do is name the the object. Although when you do set them up, you need to name the object in such a way. Hmm? Oh, you can't hear me. Cut out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Back. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Oh, hello. Hello. All UK. You're all UK. You're uh, all UK. It's not all UK. There are definitely US ones as well. I know. I've I've used some. Trigger two. Trigger. So, the way that TRC works is you have to, you, um, each crossing has a group. So when you name the actual asset that you place down, you place down an asset, go into properties, name it. The first part is the group ID. So that is, usually I just put a number, but you have to use, uh, you have to include at least one letter as well. So I usually do X. Uh, 001 or X002 depending on which crossing it is and then you um, use the uh, and percent uh, symbol the and I, symbol usually, usually, hmm? why is it just showing like the screen of like why is it just showing that screen of the green bar going by it shouldn't it, like have like the thing going across the entire thing uh what I have no idea what you mean well, I'll show you what I mean oh nice so, I mean. One second. Sorry for the disruption, but I want to help if I can. Um, huh. Be careful. Hopefully, your game doesn't crash. Yeah, no, it, no, it, it crashed because I was saving the session when I hadn't actually changed anything on the session. It's a, it's a service pack two bug. It's, it's fine. But the thing is, it did actually save oh, the yes? changes. Yeah, uh, do you... Hmm. So it's a, it's a SP2 bug? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the crashing, the crashing, yes. But this... Oh. I think that... Okay, either you may not be logged in to trains. Are you logged in? In the oh, launcher? I was. I was. Should be. Okay. Um, or your... Be sure not to show your login details. Or maybe the trains servers are down at the moment. That could also be the case. That could also be the case. Oh, I might try. I might sometimes, again. sometimes it helps if you just quit trains and start it back up again. Um, but yeah, there is really nothing that I can um, do more uh, in that regard. So, um, can you still hear me? This is a test. This is a test. Repeat. This is a test. Okay, I can't hear any of you now. I oh right, because I one second. <sighs> it's because I stopped watching the thing that I couldn't hear you anymore. Hello. I'm back. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Good. <sighs> this card is not without its bugs. And uh, I don't we mean that. we learned that today. Yeah, I don't mean the crawly bugs because I I like bugs. I like insects and animals mm. and arachnids and centipedes and arthropods in general. Yes, but uh, the yeah. software bugs. Um, what do we chat? Um. Yes, please. Okay. So. Uh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, who wrote that? Um, also, uh, Kango, also for those who don't know, the AWV, our fictional US Vel number 777, was the loco from the train uh, in the Unstoppable movie. You know, the green movie. Yeah, that one. Uh, Bugbear, uh, does this route have any payware assets? No. It is using only built-in or DLS assets. So that, and so that if you buy this route... You are going to have to. You you can play it without needing any other DLC. Additionally, 
any assets that I make for it. Like, for example, uh, one second, let me just switch over. Because I have actually not done that. So there we go. Um, I didn't actually start yet, so don't worry. Um, the thing is, uh, yeah, so any reskins that I make for it or other objects, locos, whatever that, if I do end up making locos, which I don't think I will, but reskins definitely, all of that will be freeware so that okay. you can use it in other routes as well. And then, and then Shoudai says, uh, uh, Bugway and Shoudai says, it doesn't only built in and install from the DLS. Mm -hmm. um, Bugway, oh yeah, TRC is better. Uh, Cheney, when you save the game and you're about to get off, want you to save again. Yeah, I've had that. Yeah. Uh, Shoudai, have you seen uh, Cheney's screenshots? Uh, can go as, as, as he said about the... About the, um, uh, Cheney's yeah, screenshots. Do you mean yeah. the screenshots on the Steam page? I've got a feeling they're Or do you mean the one yeah, on the trends things? I, okay, I, so. I, I think he sent it, I think it on the Discord. I did. Oh, the Discord. No, I haven't checked those yet. Uh, yes. He can't. I don't think he can check it whilst he's streaming. So, what are you working on now? Me? So, basically. What's what? happened is I put in all of my information for the train thing. Was is unable to contact the my train server. Please check your internet connection is active and working, but my internet yeah. connection is fine. Yeah, in that case, the train servers may be down at the moment. I would try again in maybe oh. half an hour or an hour again. I or maybe tried it like a while ago. That's what remember I was telling you about that last time. Hmm. Uh. You can. So, so maybe, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you can also try turning your computer, basically restarting your computer in case trains, it's the the trains itself has kind of um gotten stuck somewhere. That could also help sometimes. Right, okay. Um. Save, root. save, save, and close trains real quick. All right, I'm gonna restart my computer, so I'll, I'll uh, contact. I'll come back when I'm done. Yes. In a bit. I think I need some nettles here. Oh, oh yeah. Come on. Discord, why did you do that? Come on. Discord, can you not? I like you're talking to a dog, dude. It is. <laughs> it's not actually a bad name for a dog, is it? Discord? Yeah. It doesn't sound that bad. I've, I've, I've seen... I've heard worse names for dogs. Yeah. It's amazing how often people call dogs bitches. Mm. Get the joke? Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Chef kiss, very much so. Yeah. yeah. Although the funny thing is, it's actually the other way around. People actually call bitches oh, yeah, dogs because dogs are technically male canines only. So if, you're, if you've got a female mm. dog, then that's not a dog. By definition, yeah, the official na official name for it is a is a bitch. Mm -hmm. And also, dog is an insult to a certain. And also, dog is an insult to a certain extent. Hmm. Uh, ah yes, ah yes. Right taboo words. <laughs> mm. Well, semi taboo words. There are more taboo words. Yeah. The kind of words that are censored. Yes. Yeah. Like, for example, that's one. Um, Don't do that again. Uh, there goes our sponsorship. <laughs> Wait, what sponsorship? Did you sign a sponsorship yeah, deal for yeah, me without yeah. telling me? No, that, no, that's just my books. Don't worry. It's nothing... In there's nothing you need to worry about. <laughs> uh, did that work? No, Actually, no, I don't want this much grass here because I want. I probably want another field on this side. A little bit of grass is fine, but not that much. So maybe I want a little bit of forest just in the edge there. That might look good. Hello, Anthony. Welcome back. Uh, right. Back. Um, nice picture. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, those Jedi's Steam ones. I did. Uh, alright. 
But how many hours have how many hours you have in trains? Uh, in total, well, a lot. I've been playing it since I think two thousand and eight. Uh, there was a couple of year long hiatus in kind of the uh, twenty fourteen to twenty fifteen slash sixteen ish time uh, where I didn't really do anything with it because my I, I just yeah, yeah I don't know why I just I just did other things but then I came back to it and I've basically been playing it since so I have a lot of time in it. Where are my nettles? I think I've got some over here. Is this the place or is it a different one? Yeah, I might need to turn the shadows off again to prevent some of the lag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm, that might be a thing I should do. But that so means there I is need... that old thing. So there is that old thing where you've not played a game for a while you come back to it and you've forgotten all of the controls <laughs> yeah it did definitely feel a That's little bit insane. like that it did feel a little bit like that when I came back to trains after a long time uh, there's a hit of nostalgia as well yeah definitely like, oh it says um after restarting my computer it still says that hmm then the train servers are probably down if you go to the trains website can you yeah. log in there Yes. Yeah, then I'd say it's probably I the. I can log in there. Yeah, if you can log in there, it means that it does accept your details. So it's probably that the train servers are down at the moment, which is annoying. But because there's nothing you can really do about that. God, God damn it, Kango! Uh, 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 Kango, uh -oh. Kango says, Kango says, did you sign a sponsorship deal without again without telling me? Uh, me again, you know, a bugbear. Do you know a C thirty nine dash eight? Ah, me. I'm sure, you guys probably I, don't yeah, know what I'm that sure. is. Uh, yeah, can go. I, I was pretty certain you guys had no idea what that was. I can show you a picture of the C thirty dash eight. Uh, I mean, I, I uh, can, can look go... it up if I want to. Are these objects? Uh, Kango says, no. where were the nettles? They'll nettle tell you. <laughs> yeah. God damn you, Kango. Uh, to, Kango to Bug Vane, I, ha I have heard of the C30 in the, in the U50, but not the C39, at least I don't think so. Okay, I have the image copied. What channel would you like me to put it in? Um, trains tough. Probably if it's well, if it's a tr if it's a picture from a an actual train, put it in train stuff. If it's a train thing. Yeah. Um. By the way, there's not many of these left. Ooh. There are some of these left, but not many. Hmm. Oh, Interesting. A vintage. Uh, a vintage train. Yeah, you'll find there are quite a few oh. of those around. It's something like that. <laughs> it's something like that. He's put it in. I'll have a look at it oh, in a like couple it. of seconds. I just need to place my nettles first. Yeah, hopefully, oh hopefully trains doesn't crash on you. Ah uh, yes, it yeah. it doesn't when I when I switch over. It's it's just the saving thing that makes it crash. Yo, I have a little. Yeah, I'm just using as many built-in assets as I can. Yeah, DLS is also fine. Oh wait, I just realized. Oh what? hold on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. F these F nines always they can keep here because uh, they were on the DLS. So. Yeah. Yep, DLS is fine. Except I have changed their... Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Do I have to have their horns default because I had changed the horns? If you because change... The default so horn and the default horn sounds awful. The thing is, uh, you... If you make... Okay. Every asset that you use has to be on the DLS in that way. If you have a modified okay. asset as a dependency of the root, then it won't work because that version of the asset won't be on the DLS. So if you've changed the horn of an asset, then that is no longer the asset on the DLS, so it won't work. You would have to upload oh, that so asset, which means you will need to have the author's permission to do that. And I would say oh, definitely okay. get written permission from the author. 
how how do I uh, get permission from him again? How do I contact um, him? Him you him? can contact uh, them over the uh, trains of the website. You can message them oh. over the website. However, sometimes people on trains uh, they just don't respond either because they're not yeah, they doing know, trains yeah. anymore or because they don't check their messages, which is annoying, but there's nothing you can do. If you run into that situation, then you just can't upload uh, your modifications. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. GNRF9A. I see the authors real quick. Okay, Loadman is the author. Looks like the he made this a while ago, so I'm not sure if he still makes trains stuff. Well, there are a few, there are many people who do, uh, who've been making trains assets for a long, long, long time. So I'd say it's still worth. Um, I mean, like if you, if it's worth the effort to you, then I would say yes. Try messaging whoever's done that. Um, just say something like, um, "Hello, I've I really like your asset or whatever asset it is, uh, and I've made a cha and I've made a version of it using this horn asset instead. Can I have your or?" Do I have your permission to upload to the DLS so I can use it in multiplayer, for example? Something like that. I'm trying to... Wait, what's the official website called again? I completely forgot. I think it's Trains Portal. If you if you search on it on DuckDuckGo, Train you should be able to find it. Portal... Yeah, TrainsPortal.com. Okay, why am I not logged in? There you go, I'm logged in. Where can I message him? Like, what's up on the website? Uh... It might be on your... If you go to my account, it might be there. I'm not 100% sure where it is. You um, might need to look around for it a bit. I'm not exactly I sure where it is. I do not see my account. Where is my... Oh, right here. My account? It might be in uh, there. It might be. I mean, how would you contact the other guy to see if you could... Um, yeah, you need to go to messages. You need to go to your messages. And then you need to make a new message. And... Uh, Basically, uh, type in which author, which user to send it to, and then you can send it like that. Oh. I'm not sure exactly okay, where so that messages section is, but you should be able to find it if you look around for a bit. Right, so. Uh, I think I need a, some sort of tractor on this bit. Actually, I can use the my same one from before. Or my, oh, my mailbox. Mailbox, yes, that's that it. Might I could send. Okay, uh, so my mailbox. Um, no mailbox messages. Okay. How do I send out the message? Uh, you can make new messages. Um. Hold on. Hold on, I'm not on stream currently. I'm gonna go on stream. You're about to show on stream. I'm not gonna show it on stream because I might accidentally show some details. However, I can quickly um, load up the web train's website. It'll only take up. Don't worry. I know there's an interruption and you might want to go off do something else, but we'll be back soon. It'll just be a minute we'll or be, so. We'll be right. We'll, we'll be right be back. We'll be right back. There we go. Train's portal. Let me log in. Uh, log in. Second, here we go. Uh, also, Shard Eyes, it looks like you've grown a mustache. Mm. Oh, my dad called me. Your dad said that I've grown a mustache. Huh? <laughs> hmm. Well, there is a, a bit of hair there. I, yeah. Um, my mailbox. Uh, where, should, where is it? Mm. One second. One, one second. Just one second. Okay. I am back. Uh, where I'm is it? Is it? Maybe it's not my mailbox. One second. It should be... Oh, maybe it's Trains Forum. It might be Trains Forum instead. No, no, it should be mailbox. Shouldn't it? Trains Forum... Ah, uh, no. one second. It, it's probably Transform, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, Transform. 
it's probably transform. Uh, transform. Yeah, I just don't know where to send out the message. Uh, right. It is trains forum. If you go to the trains forum, uh, yeah, and log in there. If you go to your account, it's at the top oh, right. Hold on, hold on, real quick, hold on, real, real quick. Let me log in real quick. Um, I can really oh, read chat uh, while you're doing this, if I can. Okay, so. I can. I can do it so you can keep working. Hmm. I mean, have have you logged in? Well, I'm logging in right now. Uh, okay, then I can. I, I okay. Well, then go. You, if you want to do it, I go can ahead. Read chat go ahead. Yes. No, if you want to keep working. Uh, I mean, I'm waiting for him to log in at this point uh, anyway. So. Yeah, uh, Cheney, I got a I got uh, one thousand seven hundred and sixty hours in train nineteen. Uh, good God. 3,197 hours in Tain, 4,430 4, in train sim, in hours. Right, so... Main. So basically a C... Um, what's second? So, the thing is, I can't see that, I think, because uh, I don't use trains on Steam, and even if I did, I usually play Steam games offline, which means that it doesn't mm. count the hours that I'm playing offline, and then when I go back online, it kind of resets a little bit. Doesn't really work if you're playing offline, which I usually do. So yeah. Uh, Bugbrain says so. Basically, a C three nine dash eight is basically is basically a failure because the engine engine always overheats. Uh, can go private message them. TMZ O six O O three doesn't even allow DMs. Last time I checked, he's an author of many UK di diesels and other UK locos. A big brain. I mean, the UK locomotive sucks. I can go to big brain uh, to bug brain. Which ones? Uh, the road looks a bit strange when there's a shadow on it. That is true. Uh, bug, bug brain to Kango class forty seven. Uh, Kango, all right, I like him. Ah, uh, well though. Go one hour elapsed. <laughs> can, also, Kango, it doesn't feel like it, does it? Uh, Kango, our Roman viewers must be happy that we're using their words. Exactly. For them. Oh, God, exactly. Uh, Kango. Uh, can go. Oh right, uh, to bug to bug brain. I think I've heard of that after all, uh, f and just forgot about it. Okay. No. Thank you very much. Uh, so, Anthony, so have yeah. you yeah, logged worry. in yet? Hello, Slover Giggle. Um, don't worry, the stream um, is still there. I'm just helping slower. Anthony with uh, how to send private messages. So, I'm still trying, I'm trying to figure out what. Have you logged in? Have you logged in in the Trains Forum website? It's no, different to Trains Portal. Yes. Oh, do I have to make it a separate account for that? No, no, it's the same account. But if you go to trains, uh, if you go to, uh, okay, let me let me just, uh, okay, if you go to this thing, let me just put it in stuff. One second, I'll just put it in uh, stream voice. Uh, on, is there a way to find out what your password is? Because I don't know what's going on with it. I, oh, well, I guess um, I'm I think sure. there's an option to reset it. Yeah, you oh, can. Oh, hold on. Wait, can I, is it possible to use my user my um email to log in? It might be. Uh, you you I I think you need to use your username and password. It's the same thing that you log in with trains. It's the same thing that you log okay, in with trains so, or on yeah. the other website. I don't know why it's not working because I put in the right thing. So. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, is it possible to find out what your password is in case I did it wrong? Uh, well, uh, well, you can just um, copy it from when where you've logged in with the other thing, right? Anyway, once you once you've logged oh. in, once you've logged in on, I think so. I'm not sure though. Once you've logged in, yeah, with, I'm not in yet. Once, well, once you have logged in, in. Uh, on the trains forum, if you click on your username, then uh, you can go. Uh, if you okay. click on your username, then you can go on the left to send private messages, and there you can then okay. put in the recipient, the title, and the message. So that's how that works. I hope that you find if it. If it doesn't end up work, if it does not end up working, then I'll just you know remake and make another account if it ends up not working. Okay, so, um... Sorry, sorry for all the stress, by the way. It's just 
don't know why trains is being difficult. Okay. Uh, yes, hello, Slip Eagle. Hello. Stuck at buffering again. I'm afraid to refresh because you just wanted to say something to me. Aww. I <laughs> sent you Scarhill's Consist. Oh, thank you very much. I'll have a look at those probably tomorrow. Um, how are you today? Uh, yes. Yeah, the auto mode did that because it highlighted ow. O W. Ow. I have no idea why. It didn't even highlight H O. It highlighted O W. Why? I, I, I don't know. Buffering. Mm. What? Auto mod? What the? What? I'm doing fine. You? Yes, my chair is comf- uh, Sorry, no, I'm not in chat. Uh, so yes, I'm doing good. And I'm a bit tired because I had another five and a half hour long roleplay session where I was jamming. I was basically talking the entire time. And it was <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun, but it is quite exhausting. Yeah, um, God. Uh, that's nice. But auto mode, mod, that's one step too far. Mm. Uh, I've just asked someone how they were doing. Yeah. It's none of your business, but did auto mod have a bit too much to drink yesterday? Oh gosh. Mm, I think he had Wait, too Mark, little to drink. Sorry, what? What'd you say? A bot came into the stream? A bot came into the stream? I don't know, no, no. Auto mod. Oh, auto mod. Um. That is oh, supposed to. Bot. It is. Uh, auto mod is enabled on my. Uh, I think it's either Twitch or Streamlabs. Uh, it's. It's. But the thing is, I. I do want it to highlight those things so I can accept them or deny them in which case. But sometimes it lets certain words pass through, which I would not like to pass through. And then it. <laughs> uh, it bans how. As in, how are you doing? The OW part of it. Anyway. Um, well, catch you guys up on YouTube, I guess. Enjoy the stream. Thank you very much. I will, and I'm sorry that you can't watch for... Uh, See you of buffering. Bye then. Sorry for the buffering. See, See ya. Now. Yes. Bye. Oh, well. Actually, I know what would fit here. Apple trees. Yay. Hold on, real quick, since I'm gonna try re logging into my the, the account I just made. Although I'm not sure that I would actually eat Wait. any apples from these trees because, um, the, email the thing is that I never use this email nice. uh, the thing is that email. with, um, uh, railway with things like that grow near railway tracks, including things like uh, maybe blackberries, strawberries, anything, um, because they they use uh, poisons on the on the track bed to keep uh, plants mm -hmm. from growing there, which is what keeps the track beds free Ooh. of things. Yeah, they they have to do that; otherwise, it would just overgrow instantly. So, mm -hmm. if things are growing either next to the track bed or on the track bed, then I would not eat them because the plants can soak up those poisons. Even if it has been a long, long time since the, that, have been that has been used. Like for example, if there's like a, a rail trail and that's most maybe close in the 60s or something like that, I would still be careful about eating stuff uh, that grows near there because uh, mm. those poisons stay ar around for a long time and they are quite mm -hmm. vicious, so, um, mm. yes. Right. There you go. I think those apple trees I'm look good I'm not into transform yet. I'm trying to... I'm not into transform <laughs> those... <laughs> yet. By the way, I'm just trying to fix some technical difficulties. Okay. I'm just trying to fix technical difficulties here. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? So, this is quite... This is actually quite good, because... You've got the poison from the tracks, and you've got the classic red apples. The, the classic poisoned apple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so the server wasn't that. That was my fault. I entered uh -huh. the wrong password and stuff. But this time, I actually had the password and stuff, so I'm good. Wait, yeah, what write is that. this? I'm writing it down so I don't forget it. Well, I just write down the password so I don't forget it again. Okay, great. Oh, just wait, just rem I'm remember to, to write it down somewhere where people can't... Uh, well, find it and then mess with you. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. Of course. I mean, that's not something that I really need to tell you, but yeah. Sorry if that sounded patronizing. Okay. 
Okay, I have to go. Hold on, let me be busy. Okay, well, if you have to go, then have fun with whatever you're going to do. Dear, oh, I believe we have a bot. I believe we have a. Oh, yeah, you've done it already. Never mind. Yes. Um. I think those shrubs look quite good here on the side. Just a little bit down there. Mm. Maybe I'll actually add a few on this bit as well because it looks a bit bare at the moment. Not in that sense, no. I mean in the sense of nothing on, no clothing. That sense, yes. Mm. Bare. Yeah. I was like, um, on sat navs, uh, they say bare left. I just want to reply with, and over to the right, squirrel! <laughs> yeah. Although I don't have that much to do with setups because I don't um, ride in cars. Neither do no. I. Oh, I I see. Do I, to be I see. Um, before cars, lockdowns. I believe, but not, not yeah. Did you use before? So before lockdowns, you didn't use pub public transportation that much, did you? I I didn't know. Um, just because it was, you know. Uh, I didn't have to pay for it. It was just it was just less hassle. You know, I struggle with certain uh, social concepts, especially if I make a mistake. I'm getting better at it now, yeah. Hmm. I need to use it. Just give me a just give me a sec. For adventure, come with me. <clears throat> I'm back. Hello, welcome back. Wow. Uh, yes. Right, so. Um, I quite like how this area is coming along. Mm. Might need a few more shrubs and things around this place, actually. Yes, I realize the shrubs look very dark from this side, but that's because they're uh, 2D uh, splines. And by that I mean mm. they're using planes instead of speed tree. As it's there, we mm. go, that's the spline I wanted. You can see from this angle, though these shrubs look quite nice. Wait for the stream to catch up. And if I turn yeah. it around, it looks like this, which doesn't look as nice, but yes. it's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. Um, especially when you're down here. When you're when you're down here, it doesn't look that bad. When you're viewing it from mm. up here, it, yeah, it doesn't look great. <laughs> right. So, uh, this yeah, field I think is done. Probably make um, this back here. I'll probably split this into two fields actually. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna split it like this. Um, not your fault. Twitch is the only thing unable to load its own streams. Shalice, before you said that it had highlighted "ow" from you, not "ow" from how. Oh, sorry, it did. Um, I said it. It highlighted "ow" from how are you. I meant "how" as the "ow" from that. I'm sorry if I misspoke that. Um, even YouTube works. Ah, um, I see. Well, I'll see you on YouTube then. Mm -hmm. When you watch it back, I'd still be in the soil. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds odd. I'd still be yeah. in the soil. Yeah. Oh, it did still okay. be in the soil. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's really scary. If you even drop a blueberry onto soil next to former railway tracks, it immediately disintegrates. Yes, I've seen that. Pause. Yes. Uh, but, yeah. 2020-21 Shadows bot compilation. Better not. Yeah. Bye. There we go. You've read your way through the chat now. Just a little bit more. Thanks for reading. There we go. All read through. No, it's not. Oh, dear. Better to <laughs> use dark shrubs than, sh than shark dubs. Shark dubs. Yeah, yeah. Those, <laughs> those shark dubs that I've heard so much about. Yes. <laughs> Now you're caught up, winky face. Yes. 
By the way, how do you like the stream title? Yeah, um, it it shows that you're tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, the stream title is Bush, comma Bush, comma Bush, dot 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 Bush, dot 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 Bush, dot 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 dot, and then a bit of a bunch of Zs, and then Bush at the end, like it's like like Bush, Bush, Bush. You sound like you're vapping. Like that. Sounds like you're vapping. Oh, and it's not even Christmas yet. No, oh god. <laughs> I like puns, <coughs> as I'm sure you can tell. I'm sure you. I'm sure you do. <laughs> um, but not for long, XD. Yeah, yeah, the caught up, re caught up. Mm -hmm. I might actually place another uh, wind mill or yeah windmill here. Um, by the way, Mr. W, what is? Do you know yes. what the definition of the word mill is? Um. Something that juices something meant for consumption. Mm, no, it is used a lot in that way because of flour mills, but uh, mm. no, for example, you've got textile mills as well, or steel mills. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So what is it then? What is the definition? It is a building or complex of buildings that are designed to produce mm. a specific product. Mm. Yeah, like for example, some factories. If a factory produces a specific product, then it could be classed as a mill, even though mill is a, mm. a more older term. It was used in the Victorian era a lot. Um, mm. But yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I can look it up just to be sure. Mill. <laughs> uh, no, not the source German, please. Yeah, factory, plant, processing, plant, <laughs> works, workshop, shop. Yeah, it only says... Uh, it doesn't say the specific definition of it in this dictionary, sorry. Um, probably because mm. I was looking up thesaurus. Actually, that might be the case. Mill... Uh, oh, I've done that so many times. Uh, do I actually have it? Yeah, maybe if I go to all. Um, no, this is not... No, I think. But yeah, I'm like 98.7% sure that that is the definition of it. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> mm. Right. Do you think that the phrase to mill about has anything to do with the actual buildings? Like, if people hang around a mill, or maybe if the mill hangs around? I don't know. Does that have something to do with mill around? I, I, I've only vaguely heard that phrase, so maybe, I don't know. Hmm. You know, I the thing is, uh, words and etym etymology really fascinates yeah. me, because you can, learn oh, weird. So, you, you can learn so much about... A culture and that culture's history through the words that their language uses mm. like for example in English you've got so many words with so many different ways of pronouncing them in yeah. certain cases oh. but then you've got another word which is written basically the same but is pronounced completely differently and that yeah. is because uh, well English is a an amalgamation of many languages mm. which has evolved over hundreds of years well like modern english but english as a whole yeah. has evolved for thousands of years but <sighs> yes yeah i've i've heard it i've heard english referred to as a glorious bastard language yeah as you've said so and i think that's very true yeah, yeah. Right, so I want to place this over here. Oh no, that's too, way too small. You can't. You, there's no way you could see that from there. Um, might place it. 
No, that's not good either. Actually, I might place it up here. Might be nice. And I'll put a little bit of grass around it because you wouldn't really be able to uh, plow the fields with a windmill in the way. So just a little bit of grass there. Yeah. Ooh, not there because that is the edge of the uh, grid size. No. Oh, and of course I'll also put in some grass. Splines. Um. Uh, bread mill, meaning bakery. Yes. Uh, example. Oh, I'm just popping down to the bread mill. Do you want anything, Louv? Oh, we go. Uh, Tramortha King of Sanga. Yes. Accent came in a bit late. It did. I didn't realize I was supposed to read it with an accent, but you're sure. <laughs> you say I'm it. sure. Um, he said, wailing down from the castle tower. Shall I mill about? Never heard that. <laughs> uh, I have a few. It's it's it is. I think uh, more of an older British slang word or term. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe it did. Now that I think about it, but I never consciously knew about it. Well, there you go. Right. What do you think of this field? I think it's nice. This sort of field area. Oh, I mean, yeah. I'll probably put in. Wait for it to catch up. Yeah, I'll actually put in another field. Uh, it looks a bit like it lo looks a bit like sand. Yes, that's mostly due to compression. If I move in further, you can see that it's actually um, maybe that wheat. Field. Oh, never mind. No, no, this one, this one. It is this one. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can see that it is actually tilled. Uh, right. Oh yes. I'm going to put in this another field here. Simply because I want uh, these field ba these fields back here to also seem like they are they've actually been made and not just boundaries. Mm -hmm. Also, I've had another idea for a train's route, uh, which would oh, be yeah. oh, no. which would be so amazing if I could pull it off. Oh yeah. Uh, it is. It has to do with making a route that is not set at a specific p time, but rather goes across multiple eras. Because then if I set it in the UK, oh. because if I set it in the UK, I could make one that likes uh, one version of it that starts at like uh, in the 1820s, 30s, where you've got mm -hmm. things like Puffing Billy and the, those old uh, plate way, uh, railways. And then mm -hmm. I could um, have another one that sets in that set in like maybe the 1850s where I could have uh, mm -hmm. broad gauge and canals and things like that and I could have another one that's set in maybe the 1940s ish maybe 1950 well mm -hmm. probably 1940s yeah and then I could have one set in maybe the 1970s with so with the BR um, diesel stuff and things like that and then I could have a modern one uh, and I could mm -hmm. change the route like maybe I could have in a town like a town square I could in the 1820s I could maybe have a little tree there, a little one, and then in the old, in the f following eras, I could make the tree much bigger because the tree, of course, mm -hmm. lives for hundreds of years, and then time has passed. It's actually the same tree, but it's gotten much bigger then. And I could do oh, things like yeah. that. I could expand the town, like I could make more mm -hmm. roads, more buildings. I could of course update the buildings. Maybe I could close down a line for one certain area, but then mm -hmm. it gets reopened in the next uh, era. And I've originally. I thought I could do that with layers, but that means that I can't change the splat map of the train, basically the textures, mm -hmm. um, which is a big drawback. But now I've come up with a way mm -hmm. that I could actually properly do it, um, which would be much easier. But then again, it would be another project. And... Yeah. One at a time. <laughs> yeah, I know. It is a bit... Uh, it's a bit difficult to do that, though. Uh, mm. One at a time. Oh, I'm, I know what I'm missing here. I'm missing like an, an office building shed thing. Uh, <laughs> let's meet our uh, admin. Uh, like where, where, where were you? Where, where I was just you about, I was at uh, consciously knew about it. Okay. Uh, I'd say it's moderately, mo uh, Kango, I'd say it's moderately marvelous. Uh, can you go? Shout out. Yeah, it looks like sand. But when I zoom in, you can see that it's actually sand. <laughs> uh, shout out. Shout out. Yes, with forests too. In Plateway era, you could have it all saplings, and later on, they could they could be fully grown. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 
Ah, uh, where's the thing? You know, I, I had forgotten to turn on randomly rotate new objects again. I, I, I'd forgotten to do that when I turned it off last time. But I've turned it on now. I've turned it on now, so that's good. Hey. Uh, yeah. That sounded so unenthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, no, it's fine. It was not meant as criticism. It was just the thing I noted. Right, so having this here, I think that fits quite well. If it's at, well, if it's on the ground at least, I need to actually put the ground a bit further up. All right. Like Kango Fango, you hearing that idea? Like for example, I could use puffing bullies. I could use the broad gauge stuff. I could use the Caledonian railway uh, locos. Maybe I could use Sterling single wheelers. I could use uh, the class thirty uh, sevens. I could use. Um, uh, austerities, I could use all that sort of stuff. Doesn't that sound mm. exciting to you, Kango Fango? Like, doesn't that make you just want to start that project and work on it and actually make it? Because I know that it does for me. Mm. And it is actually quite frustrating to know that if I did do it, it would just damage everything overall, which is why I won't do Whoa. it. Although, Although to be yes, fair, yes, you are you are only working on the Milton Valley Railroad on stream, as far as I know. Yes, mostly working on it on stream. Yeah, only so far. So you could, I so say, you could do it, do another route off stream, unless you already are. <laughs> yeah, well, I've already got a couple of routes that I might do off stream, but. It's it's what I do right. off stream isn't actually work on routes. It's my other project, like for example, getting uh, the actually <laughs> it is a route. So like for example, getting the uh, Coleman Mountains Railroad finally uploaded, and then getting Living Art oh. finally uploaded, and then I've also got right. the I've also got uh, of course the uh, the Earth Trip Canterbury, which I need oh, to work yes. on. But that at the moment because of lockdown stuff isn't that. Uh, critically important from a time uh, mm. pers perspective because I, we wouldn't be able to do anything with it anyway if it were finished mm. now but other than that I've also got uh, I've also got um, Ghostly Venture which I have to oh, work yeah. on offline because if I don't if I only work on it online then it is going to take way way too long I mean you yourself yeah. you yourself said in the stream that this will take forever if I uh, yeah. at that rate, which it will. So I can't, yeah. if, if I have to... Can't afford it. Yeah, if I only work on it on stream, then, yeah, I, I will have to either cancel the, pro the project or put it on hold, probably put it on hold. Um, but yeah, it's just, I've got... And then there are also some other projects which you probably don't even know about not sure if i've told you or not probably not um some of the pro probably of course not. there is um how could i forget it tales of a steer the role-playing system oh yes that's another one that i need to f finish writing there's so many projects that i've got mm. and yeah uh let's do shed not should sh not should again shed mm. there you go should shd yeah Psst. I think my biggest problem with these projects is that I'm mm -hmm. working on them alone. I have to do everything myself, which is why a lot of yeah. these projects take so mm -hmm. long. But then again, yeah. it does give me complete creative control over them, which is mm. a thing that I do value greatly because if I know how I want something to look, how to work, then I don't have to worry about uh, getting it th that idea through to other people and then maybe they have a different idea of how it works and how they would prefer to do it and then it yeah. a lot of time would go into um, discussions about how to do certain things and then um, because if I work with other people then I do want those other people to also have creative input because otherwise mm. it's just... Uh, not really fair if they're putting their time and energy mm. into this project then of course they are going to have creative input and the thing is that if i'm 
uh, because these products are made under the my part under the partnership of Sharadice, um, mm-hmm. I well I intend to sell them. If mm. other people work on them with me, then uh, credits are also going to be an issue. So mm. that how much of how would that work? Like, would it be a one-off thing? Like that I pay someone to work on it. Uh, with me while we're working on it or would it be that they get a certain percent of the royalties from it or Mm. how would that work would they need to then um go into the partnership with me would that like that whole thing so there is the Mm. legal aspect then there's the creative uh freedom aspect and Mm. yeah yeah exactly yeah that's 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 why i like uh with anything um, I like working on my own because mm. then it's only my say and there's not going to be any arguments or conflict. Yeah, but saying that, I do love to work with other people. I love... Mm. I mean, ever, Social, ever... Social, social, socially, it's really nice, yeah. Yeah. And, the, the, for example, with um, Earth, Earthship Canterbury, the thing about that is mm. that uh, it's clear from the very beginning that no one's being paid. It's not... It is a <laughs> non profit product uh, project it won't be sold mm. and in case uh maybe like the only way that i can see any money being made of that uh at all is mm. maybe if it gets entered into like a film uh at a film festival in a competition and maybe it mm. if it were, earns a reward or something like that but in that mm. case that money would go would probably go back into making more films probably yeah it depends on my current situation there but then we would have to figure something out then probably or or the wiser situation the wiser choice might be to make an agreement beforehand if indeed that is the case where the money goes just so there won't be any Mm. arguments about that later um but it's probably wiser um Mm. however that is all still so far away that I am not um, bothering to think about it at the moment. Mm. <laughs> no, that does not fit okay, here. Uh, right, hang on. Um, hang on, hang on. Did you just see how much Kango uh, typed? That. that big one, yeah. Um, Actually, do you, I want uh, to read that big one. I want to be. The, I want to read the big one. Oh, okay. I want to read the big one. Okay, well, I'll get. I'll get you up there. Okay, uh, shout ice. Yes, with forest. So, I know we've already done that. Uh, Kango smiles. Uh, sh- uh, can go to shout eyes. Right, so without thinking about it, yes, of course. Um, but when I actually picture myself doing the route, not really. I've tried so many times to make UK routes look that look realistic, but they all but they all have their issues. And these issues are so prominent for me, at least, which just makes me want to cancel the route altogether and start a new one. Blank canvas, you know. I know. Like they're all unrealistic. Sure, some parts of them look nice or pretty, but not the thing is realistic. Yeah, the thing so, is about yeah, yeah. there we go. About your roots, um, Kang Fango, it is true that some of the older ones don't look that realistic. They they all look beautiful, but um, I think it's your roots are getting more and more realistic. Like for example, the uh, Welsh Riviera route that you uh, that you've um, that you're working on 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 Sundays. Uh, that one looks very realistic. There are only some parts of it that's maybe not that realistic, but your Japanese route, I mean, that looks realistic. The, the track layout is good, the gradients are good, the, uh, the curve angles are good, the houses look realistic, the road layout, the station placement, um, fields, the forests, uh, it, that is a realistic route. So you are constantly improving on it, as with everything, really. Uh, right. I want... <laughs> Warm yourself up. Yeah, not a manure heap. I want, like, a rubble heap or something like that. Yeah. Uh, let's look. So, uh, one second. I'll just okay. start for sand. Uh, yes. uh, okay, I'll read the bit. I'll read the bit after Kango's long bit. Uh, sure. Um, Kango, like that, you mean? Uh, Shadows, will you add one more row of baseboards behind the sheds? Yes. There you go. Oh, it's pile. That's the word. Pile. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll just place a little sand pile there. 
Okay. <clears throat> the player living R2 should lose its air jump. No way! That's the worst that I've heard all day. But it makes sense. After it's been after it's been to its planet, it doesn't need the air jump anymore. It's lost it through the spirit connection of the Barnstaub Camenwell partnership disclosure. How does that make any sense? If a creature can propel itself upwards while it's in the air, why should it lose that ability? Yeah, ex yeah I like that. Creative control. Ah, uh, yes. Maybe I should start another UK route someday. Yes, you should. Right. I want one of the I want one of the uh, dump trucks here. I I want a dump truck here. Um, be fair, li be fair. Living art is really good. It's a ve it is a very good game from what I've played. That makes me so happy to hear you say that. And I'm not a big fan usually of um, uh, platformers. Um, of side yeah of side scrolling platformers. You can tell that there's been a lot of work put into it. Aha! It is not side-scrolling. When you reach the edge of the, s edge of the screen, it just switches to the next screen. It's not side-scrolling. Mm. <laughs> Are there, like, aside from the... Like, aside from the... I call it the true ending hmm. living art. Um, are there any other... Um, Things that will fit into the law, like oh, anything yeah. in the lo like anything in like anything in the locations, for example. Yeah, of course. Like for example, um, uh, how did uh, the player character Pot Guy, as you've called him, actually come oh, yeah. to Earth? How did he get there? What is oh, wasn't he? It, wasn't it like? Remember that he goes onto a spaceship. Yeah. I presume that's he. That's from Earth. No, no, that spaceship is not from Earth. No, not from Earth. But um, he's on Earth in the museum. The museum is on yeah. Earth. Yes, yes. But the question is, how did he get to Earth? If his home planet is where he ends up at the end, then. Mm -hmm. How did he get from there onto Earth to the museum in the first place? It's not explained. I don't know. Yeah, it's not explained in the game. However, that is a part which fits into the greater uh, plot line, which will be explored in a future game. Future game. Another thing is. No, but what about um like? On. Another thing is uh, what he is. Because he looks like he's made of clay, but, well, um, yeah, but the other, well, he and the other um, pot guys, let's call them, the others. are sentient. They are living beings. How did that come to be? Yeah. Are they, did it just evolve that way, or was there some other stuff involved? Is he actually made of clay, or does it only look like clay? Because... The people who put him in the museum certainly thought that it was actual real clay. Is it? Or is it not? Things like that, for example. Those kind of things fit mm -hmm. into the greater story. Also, the Karzite keys that you get. Oh, yes. Yeah, and then the Karzite mine, where they extract Karzite out of the lava. You, I've actually made the models. We can see, if you, if you pay attention, on the Karzite mines, you can actually mm -hmm. see those pumps that look a bit like washing machines pulling out lava and then you can see lava um, in those big vats where it flashes pink mm -hmm. um, where it gets basically turned into the karzite material and then you can see those basins mm. where karzite get, um, gets poured into to cool down and then you can see karzite stripes hanging on hooks on the walls where for it to mm -hmm. actually cool down so karzite is another material mm -hmm that plays a part in the shared universe. And, I mean, if you play through the game, you mm. won't notice those things, probably. And even if you do, I mean, even if you don't, it doesn't detract from the game at all, because it's basically only oh. to do with the, the overall shared universe, if that interests you. But if it doesn't, then that's totally mm. fine. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's the kind of thing that does also um, mm. 
is connected with the other uh, parts of the shared universe as well. Or at least will be. Mm. Or at least will be. Does that answer your question? Uh, well, I meant more sort of references um, in stages. Like, for example, does a, a, does a picture in the museum... Um, represent or um, what's the word depict um, a location or event in another game like for example is there a picture of Gale Rock Lighthouse in there oh, that's or, inter- for example that is an interesting question and the answer to that mm. is some of them yes there is a picture mm. uh, of um, Get the Cake which is a game that's on the well it is on the App Store, but at the moment it's not available because I need to update it, which mm-hmm. I have done, but I need to actually uh, Back. re-upload mm-hmm. it and that sort of stuff. But anyway, um, uh, hello, welcome Anthony. back, Anthony. Yes, so that is an example. There's also a picture of uh, ghosted mansions there, which um, but d- but d- but d- isn't released but d- yet. But does that mean... But does that are, but are they just references, or do they actually tie into the law? Like, um, does get the cake take place in the same example as, um, as living art, as does as does ghosted mansions? It they do tie in. If there is an in-universe mm. thing there that depicts uh, something else, that is a reference, then it mm. is a. Uh, it is an actual thing in the world that has a reason why it's there. So, yes, it mm. does um, connect. It does connect. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the explanation of why Get the Cake, which seems to be a sort of a <laughs> non-law type of game from what you've told of me. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see how that's going to connect to the quite expansive worlds of living art and ghosted mansions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's like, ma- like maybe get the cake. Like, 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 like maybe get the cake is a is an in-universe game in the universes of Ghosted Mansions. I'm just really yeah, that could easily you know. be the case. I'm not saying that it is, but it could easily be the case. Yes. Um, Sheridan. Yes. How do I authorize my train account again? I've completely forgot. How do I do that? Uh, authorize the account. It. I think it should send yeah. you an email. Probably that's how it usually works, but. Not 100% oh, sure okay, on that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, I think I need to put the speed limit down for this bit. So, 35 going that way, and let's say. Hmm. Let's say tw- uh, 20, probably. Going the other way. That seems right. Right, right, yes. And also then 20 going the other way, this way. Sure. Also, I think I can hear Anthony's dad in the background. Yeah, I'm gonna... T- yeah, when he, com- when he comes back, I'll tell him that he might want to, like, maybe cover up his earphones or the speakers or whatever he's using when he, he goes. I am back. Hello. Yeah. Uh, when, you- when you leave again, uh, you might want to cover up your... Like the speakers or the headphones or whatever, whatever, you, whatever was using, because we can hear the talking in the background. Oh, yeah. sorry. We uh, couldn't, um, we couldn't yeah, understand. No, no, don't worry. No, we what? couldn't understand anything. We just heard that there were people yeah. talking. So, yeah. Yeah, we're just, we're oh. just thinking. You probably, you probably want your conversations with your parents uh, kept private. Okay. Tell you what. Yeah. Okay. I'm um, going to turn you, shadows off. Do you know? There we go. I don't know why it. Just I got an email saying like you burned two hundred train points, but train points, but that's the only email I got from. Huh. Strange. Are you sure you've put in that exact email address? I'm sure you didn't mistype or anything like that. Um, I'll double check real quick. I double check. Uh, trains portal. I. I might cut out now. Um, if I do, then I'll. Uh, I'll reconnect. Don't worry. Have I cut out? Have I cut out? Yes, I have. Haha, I anticipated your cutting out, Discord. I, s- I said, aha, I anticipated your cutting out, Discord. Yes. Uh, okay, yeah, I did, I did put in the correct email. Hmm. Might might just email. take a might just take a little while for it to arrive. 
then okay so here we go um thank you for the kind words right guys all right that already read that the green robot is mildly jar jarring are you sure jarring is the right word not mildly terrifying or creepy by the way, did you like the green robot in Living Art? The one from the spaceship? I can't remember which one he's talking about. The it's big one. It's been quite a while since I have played Living Art. It's I mean, I did get through did get through the whole game. Yeah. But... It's, it's the big one. The one that... Um, if you're in the spaceship, you walk past some of them when they're dormant. Those big green robots. They're just standing there. Oh, with those! A, yeah. So, in the spaceship, so I've done something very clever there. Um, if you're planning to play Living Art, then um, I may, what I'm saying now may not be exactly true, or it may be true. So, I'm giving myself the license to lie here, just so that you don't know if it's true or not. If you're planning to play yeah, Living so Art. So, there's no spoilers. Yeah. So, there are those, these big um, green robots in the spaceship stage, and you walk past mm -hmm. them a lot of the times, and you feel like they are about to get activated because I've even put mm. in reverberation when you walk past them to make it uh, feel even more unsettling. A word. But in the spaceship stage, they never do. Only later one chases you. And that rhymed. Um, so Again, if, again if, if, it's, if it's the one I think you're talking about, I don't remember them chasing me. I remember the little ones. Yeah, there is one of those. Uh, it's in... Uh, what is it? It... My, I think... It, yeah, it would have been. It's in... The one you mean is in level 3 of st uh, stage 4 of the mines. I don't know which one I mean. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it is much smoother now that I've turned off shadows. Right, so... Yeah. I need to put a bit more of the other texture up there. I'm actually, since, I don't know if I told you about the fact that I now have a scenic railroad. I don't know why it's acting like that, so I don't know what's going on. Um, that I have a scenic railroad on this route currently, instead of, like, actually, uh, what's the word? An operating railroad? Like a, a commercial <laughs> one? Commercial, commercial railroad is probably the term yeah. you're for. Yeah, it's a scenic railroad instead of, like, a commercial railroad. So, I kind of want to move it back to Kickstarter County, kind of, because that's where I used to have it, and oh. I think the scenery there is much, much more beautiful than my route. I think much more people would want to ride there. I don't think that's true. Yes, Kickstarter County... Well, actually, no, Kickstarter County, I, I have some issues with that route, just because in Kickstarter County, a lot of the route feels quite bland to me at least not played that much on it um but from what i could tell your route has a lot of a lot of interesting ideas a lot of easter eggs a lot of scenes a lot of uh a lot of charm which is something that also kickstarter county doesn't is, really have that much i think something i'd also like to ask is if i complete one of these sessions does it tell me i've completed it or like how? Uh, what do you mean? That I've completed it. What do you mean? Like, how do I know if I like say like I'm trying to like complete complete a Kickstarter county session and um once I have, does it tell me that I've completed it? You mean play drive on a session that uh, comes with Kickstarter county, yeah. or do you mean complete as in um should do? Yeah, it should do. Like on Kickstarter county, yeah. Yeah, it should do. It should tell you that you've yeah, completed okay. it. If it's a, if it's a session, I haven't completed any. If it is a session, well, actually, what do you mean? Where? What, what? What do you mean? Do you mean whether it tells you in the menu or while you're playing it? Menu. Oh, in the menu. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. With ranked sessions. Oh, it might have crashed. Um, oh, no, it didn't. That's good. The thing is, with ranked sessions, it is supposed to tell you in the menu, but I think that is a bit broken at the moment. Uh, I would not rely on that. It might be a bit broken, so it may not actually tell you. 
which I know is a bit annoying, but right. uh, yeah. By the way, if I don't hear you, that's because I'm driving a really loud train and um, I'm using headphones, so yeah, if I don't oh, yeah. hear you, that's why. Ah, yes. Also, thank you for using headphones. It is very considerate of you. Welcome. Okay. So. Uh, you know, maybe we should do a multiplayer session on Kickstarter County, actually. Well, Kickstarter County lags a bit for me. In the in the yard, it lags quite a lot. It's the procedural. Uh, no, it's not the procedural track. I don't know why, but Kickstarter County Two at least lags quite a lot for me. I don't know, but oh. uh, Scar Hills Ooh. subdivision. There is going to be a TS19 optimized version of that up being up going to be uploaded soon, uh, as for free on the DLS. There is already the Tane version, which I which is compatible with TS19, but the color gradients and things are off because. The way TS19 renders is different than uh, Trains in the Era. But uh, an updated version will be uploaded. Um, yes. So you're like, phew, he's walked in the lava now. He won't bother me anymore. Wah! <laughs> yes, exactly. You can't train get away from him that easily. What do you say? This train is kind of unrealistic. Well, not unrealistic, but kind of is because it can barely make it up this, the hill, the, the big uh, mm. grade. Hmm. I can't say I remember that. You haven't played the Space Rock stage? I finished it, but I just can't remember any lava. <laughs> the... Oh, right. That an enemy can walk into. Well, there are no enemies in Living Art. There are... Um, antagonists. In that set, yeah. But I wouldn't call them enemies. Oh, enemy, quote-unquote. Quote, unquote. Qu yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but you know what I mean. I know what you mean. Um, but, uh, yeah. It is definitely in there. If, you, if you've played all of the Space Rock stage, then you will have played that stage. Should it's maybe archaeologists maybe. mistook unconscious pot guy for an ancient artifact and took him, them with him? With them? Yeah, but that means that he must actually be made of clay or something similar. Which maybe he is, but maybe he isn't. But I'm going to make a little bit of forest along here. Turn back up. Back up. Yeah, does that look okay? Yeah, it does actually. I need to paint the ground, of course, but other than that, although I need to delete some things, but uh, yeah. Um, I've also drawn a few artworks in the museum in Living Art. Yes, he has. They're very nice. Um, aw, the HST look alike. The broad gauge steamer and its tender. Yes. Um, right. I think that's it. Letter being side view beige hey, people, color. Why are there people on the tracks? Why are there people on the tracks in this session? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Maybe they're good. That is very dangerous. These people should not be doing it. Exactly, but maybe... It's very dangerous. Yes, I know. Don't, don't need to tell me. <laughs> um... Be dangerous. These people should not be doing this. Uh, yes, Lau, <laughs> let me read chat, please. So, um, and I also drew a few mushrooms, a few shrooms. Yes, yes. Also, did you know that the museum artwork is randomly flipped on the x-axis when they spawn in? Oh, so mirrored potentially? Yes, it is. Just add a bit more variety. Why, why is when you spawn in. Trying. When you spawn in, when, when you go into a level in Living Art, in a, a museum level, mm -hmm. then the mm -hmm. uh, paintings, it will, well, first of all, it will choose a random one from a list, and then it will randomly mm -hmm. flip it on the x axis. It could, it could be mirrored. Just to add a bit mm -hmm. more variety. Also, also uh, there can never be two of the same painting within the same level. I've made it so oh, that yeah. it has to choose, it, it, you can't get a room full of the same painting, essentially. Um, yes. Um, <laughs> yes. Terrifying, yeah. Stomp, 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 stomp. The red light flashing, yeah. <laughs> Don't remember that. Hmm. It's in uh, stage 4, level 3, right? Yeah, I think so. I think it is. Um, Get out of here. Yeah, maybe the W hasn't played that level. 
I've played through them all, unless he's made uh, new ones from the version he sent me. No, no, you should have all of them. If you have the achievements, mm. if you okay. have the achievements in the game, if you have ver the version with the achievements, then you have all of the levels. <clears throat> oh, okay. You know, I wonder if anyone's ever gotten all of the train's achievements. Probably some 100% completionist. Maybe, yeah. I mean, I mean, with me. So far, I've, I've only completed. So far, I've only completed trainee DCC driver, trainee hostiles or host hostel or whatever. Hostler. Qualified hosteler, and co and commuter. That's it. Well, let me see what I've completed. If I can indeed find that, is it does it say here? Um. Well, my current rank is brakeman on here. Brakeman. Uh, twenty six stars. Uh, Got a first class ticket. Oh, view achievements, there we go. So on TRS-19, I've got DCC driver, a trainee driver, trainees team driver, qualified DCC driver and qualified driver. Uh, driving experience industries, I've got private carrier, prime mover. In sessions, nah, passengers, I've got commuter and station assistant. Ex switching experience, I've got trainee hostler, qualified hostler, experienced hostler. Tutorial, I haven't completed any because I know how to play the game, so... Well, most of it, you know, anyway. I wonder what the reward for getting... I wonder if you get a reward for being 100% completionist. Possibly. Hmm, I doubt it. But Honestly, maybe. that sounds... I don't know. I don't know. But right. then again, are you truly 100% completed if you haven't got that achievement? Oh, you are? You are? You're 100%? <laughs> well, the thing is... That is true. If the achievement for completing every achievement <laughs> is in the game, then you can never achieve it. Because to achieve it, you must have already achieved it. Um, oh, just to mm -hmm. explain that bit. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, right, so what does the forest... That looks good. Maybe I'll add a little bit of hill there. Just so it makes more sense that this area wouldn't be farmed. No, not the sensitivity, the radius. Um, that well, must be the case that then. Weird noise I'm hmm? So what? If you're wondering what that weird, if you're wondering what that weird noise I was just making, I'm just repeating the chopping of the train. I'm talking very loud mm. because the train is so loud. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, hey. we're, we're not hearing the train, so yeah, yeah we don't we don't hear the train. It's the same thing. If I were to shout like this, it's like, yeah, there's, there's a really noise. There's a really loud noise on my headphones right now. I need to shout loudly so you can hear me. Luckily, I didn't shout actually out. shout. <laughs> Luckily, yeah. I didn't actually shout because then it um, does. Fit. <laughs> it does. Um. Uh. Yeah. Like, because because I because I've got the headphones in it. All we, uh, it, it feels like I'm muffled and it feels like I have to talk louder than I do. Hmm. Just being stupid. Okay, so where were you in chat? Um, that must be the case then. Trust me, you would have remembered the robot uh, had you seen it <laughs> chase you. Oh boy. Yeah, it might not tell you, Anthony. Mm. Sure is, maybe pot guy was found in Gebekli Tepe. Forgot to say that before. Maybe. By the way, Gebekli Tepe is a site in Turkey. Which is, uh, I think, from the year thirteen thousand BC. It is. It was uncovered, and that site meant that civilization is actually far, far older than we previously thought, um, mm. because that site has huge uh, stone pillars that were um, laid over top of each, each other to make make archways. There were uh, signs carved in them, symbology. Things like that. It is speculated that it was probably a trade center for uh, both knowledge, so technology and um, items like, for example, uh, well, trading goods like food and things like that. Um, it is speculated that Gobekli Tepe is actually a site where uh, tribes exchanged knowledge, such as, for example, how to grow, how to do agriculture, how to grow things. Um, that that site may have been used exactly. because. Because Turkey is actually, um, well, yeah, Turkey and, uh, well, the Middle East, basically. So Turkey, as well as uh, Jordan, and, of course, also Mesopotamia, 
is uh, has some of the oldest civilization that has ever been discovered. Like, for example, the city of Ur from the Sumerians. That is one of the first cities ever built. Maybe yeah. only rival, um, rivaled by the first settlements at Jericho. Um, oh, yes. Because the first, but the first settlements at Jericho are so old, so incredibly old, like 12,000 years old. And mm. the, it was inhabited for a long, long time, but then there was a few thousand years uh, period where it wasn't. And then mm. settlements came there again, and then settlement after settlement after settlement until we get to uh, biblical times, and then we get to uh, modern times. Um, well, there's a <clears throat> there is a large bit between that, but <laughs> you, yeah. you get what I'm <laughs> you get what I'm yeah. saying. Um, yeah, but it is actually also speculated that the Sumerians, who mm. by the way, do you know the Sumerians? Do you know what they are? Who they were? Roughly, I, I've 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 heard I've heard of them. Yeah. How much do you know? Only the name, really. So the Sumerians were some of the first city builders um, mm -hmm. that we have archaeological record for. Uh, mm -hmm. It is speculated that they um, are maybe an offshoot of the Indus Valley people who built cities mm -hmm. in, well, in the Indus Valley uh, before the Sumerian cities. But the Sumerian cities started with um, Ur and Uruk and uh, what is the mm -hmm. other one called? Uh, Edi? Uh, er Eridor? Something like that? Eridor? Not sure what it's called now. It's what called? Uh, the the like Sumerian that. city. Sounds like Lord of the Rings. Um, oh, I had no idea. Yeah, so... Uh, yes, their, their civilization prospered for thousands of years and they developed so many things that civilization depends on. Like, for example, uh, agriculture, the wheel, uh, uh, written language. They developed... Um, actually, written language developed only very few times and most languages, written languages... Uh, are somehow connected to a common ancestor. And there are only mm. like four or five of these common ancestors, I believe, for natural languages. Mm. And the language that the Sumerians invented, uh, the written language, is what uh, our modern languages are based on. So the language they mm. invented is called... Uh, well, the, the, well, it's called Sumerian, but no. The, the written language is called cuneiform. And mm. it is... Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I've heard of that. And... It is written in clay tablets, a bit like a mobile phone, mm. actually. So you've got a clay tablet in your hand, and you've got a stylus, which is a bit like a, a basically um, a triangular-shaped stick that you then um, press into the soft clay to mm. write stuff down on a tablet that you can carry around in mm. your pocket. Yeah? Sound a bit familiar? Mm. So, um, mm. yeah. And that language is then what uh, Akkadian is also based on, which is another mm -hmm. uh, city-state from that area, which then conquered the Sumerians a couple of times. It went back and forth a bit. Also, Babylon, the city of Babylon, was also um, uh, an offshoot of the Sumerian civilization originally, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, and yes, so Babylo Babylonian is originally... Uh, based on cuneiform, there are some, there were def various different um, versions of uh, of uh, cuneiform, and then it turned from a, uh, what's it called, a sim symbolic language, I believe, where you've got a symbol for a word, basically. So the word for wheat mm. or barley um, might have one symbol. But then the language gradually uh, shifted to a syllabic languages, uh, a syllabic language mm -hmm. where you you could instead of using, for example, um, oh, what's a, what's an example? Uh, oh, yeah, perfect example. Like um, before the word before 
You, you could have mm. a symbol for the word before. But you could also mm. draw a bee, like the, the animal, a bee, and then um, draw the number four. And then if you read it oh, out, wow. it would be B4. And that is the origin of syllabic languages. So you don't actually use the meaning of symbols, but rather what they sound mm. like to make mm. uh, other words with them. Yeah? And Sumerian then kind of chain was used into that. There was a time period where Sumerian had both. So you could use it as a, uh, a, a symbolic language. You could use it as a syllabic language as well. And then from that mm -hmm. came Babylonian. And then, which is, uh, incidentally, the Babylonians also had the, a base 60 uh, uh, mathematics system, which is why... Uh, this number 60 is so prominent. Like, for example, why there are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. That is because of the Babylonians, because they invented it that way and we're still using it to this day. Mm. Um, but anyway, yes, the Sumerians, there was a lot of war, a lot of stuff like that for basically thousands of years. And... Mm. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, yeah, sure. Also, th um, right, I just so want... How do I message people once I get to transform again? When you're in the transform, click on your username in the top right. Okay. And then in the okay. top, okay. okay, and then on the left, you can see send messages or something like oh, that. Oh, send private message. Yes, there. Private and then you message, can, right? uh, yeah, that's it. You've got it. Right. So the reason okay. why we know how to read and write cuneiform, it is no longer an extinct language. There are people who know how to read it and how to write it, even though it's been thousands of years, which is just so amazing to me, is because of uh, a series of uh, stone uh, inscriptions. Because there were, th at one point, uh, well, basically the, the Persian... Uh, actually, was it Persia? I think it was Persia. I think it was Persia. Either it was Persia or it was something that sounded similar. Basically, one empire invaded Sumeria. Okay, well, have fun then. One empire. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, Sumeria originally had only Sumerian. Then the Akkadians mm -hmm. invaded and took it over. And then it went, switched hands back and forth a bit. Which means that they became bilingual. So, you had Sumerian and you had Akkadian as the national languages. Then another empire yeah. invaded and the king uh, of that empire, I think it was Persian Empire, but I'm not entirely sure, um, wanted to solidify his reign over these lands. So he had erected uh, these huge stone tablets where basically that praised him as a god king and that he is mm -hmm. lawful and that he's the lawful leader and just and that he conquered uh, the Sumerian lands honorably and that he is going to um, serve the people <laughs> and all of that. Basically propaganda, yeah? <laughs> and yeah, I doubt that's what he did. The thing is that because back then the Sumerian lands were had spoke those two languages, they spoke Sumerian and Akkadian, those clay tablets were written in all three languages. The exact same... Mm -hmm. the exact same paragraphs. And that is the key, because I, I, I'm almost sure that it was... Um, what's the word? Persian. Because Old Persian is very similar to modern Persian. We understand old Persian. So when these tab when these huge tablets were found, mm -hmm. they translated the old Persian. And because mm -hmm. the Sumerian and Akkadian uh, paragraphs were the exact same sentences, mm -hmm. they could figure out what those symbols meant. Because they know, they already knew what the sentences mean without knowing the symbols. So they, re they reverse engineered it, mm -hmm. which has brought Sumerian and Akkadian 
the languages back from the dead. They're no longer mm. extinct languages. We know how to read them and write them. And to me, that is just so amazing. The language that has been dead mm. for over 10,000 years is now back. A language like that, that's, it, that is just so amazing to me. What are mm. your thoughts? It is, it, it is nice that it's back, yeah. And that's quite a poetic way for it to come back as well. Yes, I agree. Thing is, what if there what if there were letters that weren't in the text? Well, it is of course a very very arduous uh, process. But you, ha if you have a few base symbols, like for example, the word for the or it, mm -hmm. uh, those are very very common. Like for example, if there is oh, mm -hmm. or the name, the name of the 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 ruler. The name of the ruler. That name, because it was written down syllabically, we actually also know how to pronounce it because it was also a syllabic language, which is which is just very amazing. But mm -hmm. those characters, we know the name is mentioned five, say six times, and we know mm -hmm. roughly where it is. So then, if we translate, if we look at the other symbols, and we can see these symbols appear exactly that same amount of times, we can mm -hmm. reliably guess these symbols stand for this, which means that from that, this sentence says, uh, the king, the, um, I, am, I am the king, I am the god. Yeah, I'm your god. Mm -hmm. Then we can, see, we can see, okay, this is the name of the king, so then this symbol must be the, the word for king, and this symbol must be the word for god. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And if you focus on common words like the, or that, or it, then you can, through the process of elimination, figure out a lot mm -hmm. of the other words. Because if you've got this set of symbols, then you can try to apply that same translation matrix to other texts. And if those texts make sense, then the chances are very high that you've got the right meanings. If this part makes sense, but this other part is gibberish, then this symbol can't mean that. But for this symbol mm. to also fit with the other text, because we know the context of it, we can infer that it means a different word that also fits in both. So then we have two mm. texts in which this symbol has to fit. And then we f if we find a word where it fits in those two uh, cases, then mm. it gets basically gets more reliable and more reliable. That's a very, very oversimplified version of how that mm. actually works. But that is sort of the basis of that. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Also, yeah. I right, do you want me to? Uh, do you, um, want, me, do you yeah. want me to read chat? Sure. Whilst. Uh, yes, I've been okay, talking quite a bit. Actually. <laughs> okay. Where were you? Uh, I forgot to say that before. Um. Question mark. Mm, those mirak look tasty. Maybe get a, Merc. a free third party locomotive. We're getting Merc. They're the pickups uh -oh. in oh. Living Art. Here we go. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, Cheney, what about 100% completion in Train Sim? Uh, Kango to Cheney, if you've got if you've got all the m money and time in the world, sure. XD, uh, Kango, 130 elapsed. Wait, that's wrong. Let me turn it off and on again. Let's try again. Two, two, el two hours elapsed. <laughs> no, that can't be right. No. Mm. Cheney, 106 DLC out of seven out of. Uh, out of se out of seven oh seven, uh, can go Ar Arador UK. A question mark to D Cheney. A uh, Cheney in train sim can go. I mean, what have the Romans ever done for us? <laughs> the aqueducts. Yes, yes, well, yes. Well, yes. <laughs> apart from the aqueducts, what have the Romans ever done for us? That's a Monty Python. That's Those? a that's yeah, the obviously. Monty Python. That's a Monty Python I, reference. I I guessed correctly, uh, but apart from this, uh, uh, do you know what the where the quote is for Mister W? Uh, me, at can go comedy sketch. Maybe Monty Python. Maybe Monty Python. Uh, bingo, bango, Kango, fango. <laughs> yeah. Me, uh, me to ca me to Kango. The one where he goes, he's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Life of Brian. <laughs> uh, Kango. Well, mm -hmm. I believe so. I think so. Yes, I'm not it is. Sure. It is. Brian Anthony Sarson. Uh, so, uh, Kango. He wanted to solidify rain. 
So he was a god or demigod tied to the water water elementals. Uh, don't forget to take the oh good grief the Schlein's f- 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 nail. Um, me gotta say I love the phrase translation matrix. I can't uh-huh. I can go even though I'll say it again by an advance. Uh, can go yeah completing all achievement in trains. Maybe get a free uh, third party locomotive for getting all. Great. Thank you very much. Although, third party, yeah, if you know. complete all the uh, achievements in trains, then why would they give you a third party locomotive? Because uh, that's not owned by N3V if it's third party. If it's owned by N3V, then it can't be third party. Um, but yeah, also, I completely did not notice that we went quarter of an hour over time. Did you notice? Yeah, don't worry. Uh, I, I, I did, yeah. But I didn't want to say <laughs> anything because I noticed while you were talking. I think you went, I think you went over time whilst you were talking. Ah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Sneaky. Yes. <laughs> ah, uh, right. I'll just put this little bridge in. Fifty-two hours later. Well, I said I'll put the bridge in. <clears throat> it's not <clears throat> my fault that it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, right. Uh, it is really very warm where I am. I should really open the window. I'm cold. More. Yes, I've got the heating on got, because of I, upstairs I've got, rooms. I've but got. You've clearly got the money for it. We don't. Hmm. Well, that is debatable whether I have the money for that. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'll uh, just do the little supports, and then that'll be that. Um, for the S and the achievements, I noticed. I noticed. Uh, Shadows, well, only made by N3V, but it's still, but it isn't built in or available on the purchase download, where you can only get it with with the ach- getting the achievements. Well, that wouldn't really be that useful, then, would it? Because if it's not payware, if it's not on the download station, then you wouldn't even be able to use it in multiplayer. Um, yes. Okay. Not n- one, not only. Alright. Wouldn't be useful, but it seems like something N3V would do. Maybe. I don't know. Just to be curious, how long you plan to go on for? I don't mind. Until personally. I finish this little bridge, which means until I've put oh, in yeah. the supports. Finish. Until you finish this little bridge. Yeah. Little bridge. Bridge. Mm-hmm. Just until I've finished this game of bridge. Oh, I've started watching people. Um, there's a channel online called uh, No Vols Bard, and um, it, it's part of one big sort of group of people. I mean, they've done they do multiple stuff. I think they do. They have a, I think they have a gaming channel. They have a wrestling channel, and this one is a board game channel. And and they <laughs> played a game of a fake artist goes to New York, which is where every person but one knows what the object they're drawing is and the fake artist has to uh and the, and the fake artist d- doesn't know and the fake artist has to try and guess what it is whilst and everyone has to, uh, everyone um um everyone draws a line each on their turn the thing is the fake artist doesn't know what it is they have to sort of guess what they're going for to try and not make it too obvious that they're a fake artist and I've not laughed so hard in quite a long time. <laughs> Can the fake artist look at the paintings of the other players? Uh, no, 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 no. It's all one painting. Oh, one painting. Oh, um, right. Oh, I see. Yeah, but you draw a line each until you've taken two turns. Oh, and people can then guess who the fake artist is. And if the fake artist gets found out, then he loses, right? And he loses, then he loses, yeah. Ah. I can send you the link to the video if you want. Mm, that's okay. Yeah, they they do. It, it's called it, it, 
it's called Board Game Club. They're, um, that's not their channel name, but that's their sort of the series where they play board games. I see. Well, it sounds like an interesting game. It sounds fun. It is. It sounds it's like a lot it, of fun. it sounds like the kind of game that would be played at um, at the youth uh, at the youth center, like for drop in, yeah. like for drop in uh, mm. nights, things like that. It's also th there's also there's also a game they played. Um, yes, I know. Finish the bridge, but I'm still going. Uh, snake. Well done. It's it's called Snake Oil. Um, which is where, um, there's, there's two main versions. They played, um, the, ver the version where adult content isn't cut. Um, and it's where what, so a, a person is chosen as a customer, um, and they're given a quote unquote profession. So for example, one of the ones in the, in the club was Vic, was witch. Mm -hmm. And everyone else. I think how it works is, um, I think how it works is they're given um, a choice of each person is given a choice of four words. Two of them, uh, well, e each of them making something that sounds like a pr like a product. So for example, uh, yeah, and they have to try and sell it to the customer. Um, so for example, uh, <laughs> one of them was space regret. <laughs> and the t and the tagline there's no regret in space which i think was quite funny or maybe in yeah. space in space no one can hear you regret no one can hear you regret yeah um and oh, oh i think it was also um if you've got regrets just live in space <laughs> <laughs> what if that's what you regret yeah. yeah if you live in space that that's what the that's why the astronauts are going up <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'll I'll add like two more of these shrubs, but just so it doesn't leave, uh, just so, just so it doesn't leave it feeling accidental. Five mi five five minutes more. <laughs> no, j uh, here's one. Just one more turn. Do you know where that's from? Yeah. Oh dear. Do you know where that's from? No, from from a board game thing. Uh, well, kind of. It's. It's from uh, Sid Meier's Civilizations. Because in, in Civ, oh, which yeah. I do play Civ Six a bit. Um, LAN multiplayer. Oh, yes. LAN multiplayer. Of course, um, we play mm, without wars. We do, we don't. We make a rule not to go mm. to war. Um, but because so mm. in that game it's turn based, and all of your cities do stuff when the mm. turn ends. So you've planned stuff out, and then mm -hmm. you click end turn, you think, okay, this is where I'm going to end. But then all of this stuff happens, which then enables you to think, oh, wait, now that's finished, so now I can do that. Wait, okay, okay, I'll just I'll just set the cities to do that stuff next turn. Mm -hmm. And you've set them all up, and then the turn's finished, and then you just need to press end turn to get that stuff done. So you just click it, and then it's, okay, well, now that's done. Well, now I have to queue that. And it's saying, like... like Mm. It's just okay. One more turn. That's where that comes from. Just one more. Just one more turn. Mm. That's that's kind of become their almost like tagline thing yeah. or catchphrase. Catch, catch catchphrase. Phrase, yeah. Catchphrase. I think that works. Catchphrase. Um. Yeah. Although it is fun. It is fun. I've actually got the. I, I've got Civ Six, and I've got the. Mm. I've got the graphics mod install that makes the, it look a bit less cartoony and a bit more. Uh, realistic, mm -hmm. like the t the uh, t color tones and forests and things like that. Mm -hmm. Also, the oceans. Oh, yeah. Anyway, do you think this is a good thumbnail, like this, maybe, or does it look too samey? We'll wait for the thing to catch up. I'll actually make it a bit. I think wider. down a bit. I think down a bit. Yeah, well, then you can't really see much. It's like this. It. The thing is, my previous thumbnails, I've got a lot of the mm. flat fields on it, and a lot of them look quite similar. Mm. So I want one that is a bit more, that shows off a bit more of the layout, which to make it mm. stand out a bit more. So I think that this might actually be a good thumbnail, something like this. Mm. Yeah, I think that would work. Okay. So then I'm just going to leave it here for a couple of seconds, just so that I've got enough time to actually... Uh, 
get the thumbnail for, out of the video because I don't feel like making a screenshot for it now. So let me just re-chat for the last time and then uh, then we've ended the stream, basically. No offense. You said, well, only made by... I said, well, one made by... Oh, right. One, way, one made by that makes more sense. I'm, I'm tired. I've had to get a group of people off of a... It, never mind. It's, it's, it's complicated. Yeah. It's too complicated to explain. Well, no, it would just take too long. Yes. If you remember how long the last recap took. Yeah. The, the full one. Uh, anyway, that was fun. Anyway, uh, all right, I get it now. Board Game Club. Ah, or Board Game Club. <laughs> yeah, Board <laughs> Game Club. Oh, that's why they play board games, because they they were so bored, they just decided to try Because they're so bored. Yeah. Yes. Share dice. I'll just do this one bridge and then I'll end the stream. Share dice also. Yeah, I know that I've done the bridge, but I'm still going. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I know the feeling. Share dice, you've played with uh, with me a few times too, right? Yes, I have. There's bound to be one in there. Uh, one what? A pun? Definitely. Um, uh, bye. What's very complicated? Actually, never mind. So, I know that you said I said never mind, <laughs> but actually, okay. So, oh, um, boy. originally I had another Star Trek game going. I we played a few sessions of it, but then uh, some people couldn't make it to the sessions, so I decided to run a one shot of Star Trek because we didn't know ahead of time, and then that one shot. It's basically the game that we're in now, because that one shot turned into the main game. And it's been it's been over... Well, yeah. It has been... Huh. It has been over two years since I've started that, including the 2020 hiatus. Um, which is an official archaeological uh, event, <laughs> the 2020 hiatus. <laughs> that I've made up. Um, <laughs> and, yeah... That is the beginning of the recap. It gets complicated when you throw in things like um, the Marquis... Uh, time, time We'll travel. get to that. We'll get to the Marquis, yes. Time travel, uh, a crashed... A wallpaper. A, a, a crashed starship on a planet that is very, very weird and about to be destroyed by a black hole. When you... Yes, yeah, um, rubber duck wallpaper. When you throw in insane criminals... And when Lord you throw the in, uh, Gold, uh, Lord of the yeah. Golden Spanner. Yes, the, the 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 God of the Golden Spanner. When you throw in Ferengi, who've set themselves up as gods. When you throw in <laughs> Maki. When you throw in stolen symbion, trill trill symbions. Uh, what? <laughs> what is Maki twice. Yes, Maki. Yes, because they were in there twice. Then when you throw <laughs> in player char players who like to. Deliberately make trouble because it's funny and it is funny you know, yeah. to an extent, but it was also a bit annoying. Uh, they're not part of the game anymore. Don't worry about it. Um, when you throw in all of these things, and then when you also, in addition to that, throw in all of the f rules figuring out stuff and the fact mm. that there is a player that can only come every second game, not every game, but oh, every yes. second game, and then when you throw in also other things like sabotage and uh, spies and uh, mysterious uh, readings from starships and a, th a stolen tholian uh, brood and uh, mm. wormholes and all of that stuff and the cap the character the player who's been playing the captain not uh, turning up for the uh, the roll twenty version of the of the games, which we're currently running, when you throw, up time. Yeah, and then when you throw in a one year hiatus, and then having to recap everything up to that point to get everyone up to speed again, yeah, it gets a bit complicated. Um, and that's not even mm. throwing, and that's not even mentioning uh, the uh, character relationships between player characters and NPCs. Mm. Uh, also, did I mention the planet was about to get torn apart by a black hole? Yes, I did. Um, Good. I, 
Mm. Okay. Yeah, it gets a bit complicated then. So let me just rechat again. Well, actually, no. Let me quit trains just so we're in a more of a stream MD uh, mm. situation. You can still hear me, right? Test, 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 test. I can, I can, I can, I can. Good. Um, I said never mind. Shadow is one thumbnail. Yes, I did. I set it up. It's still funny, just about, but don't overdo the joke. I know you say that because it's already thirty minutes past. I know. I didn't know that we went over time for over a quarter of an hour, and nobody told me. <laughs> <laughs> so. I We're know speaking. That, I know, I know, I know, but I... I don't want to be rude. Yeah, I still would have... No, I wouldn't see that as being rude. Of course not. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, anyway. Um, bye, everyone. Thanks for reading chat, both of you. Both of you. Yeah, don't worry right. about he, it. He meant to type the exclamation mark, but then accidentally typed the question mark. So, thanks for reading yeah. chat, both of you. Both of you? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, actually, thanks for reading the chat. Both of you. That's how I meant it. Half an hour yeah. over time. Aye, aye, aye. Actually, no. I've only got two eyes. Um, bye. Another, not another three hour recap. <laughs> gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> Good night. Oh. So with that, I believe it is time to end Saturday's uh, entertainment. Entertainment and uh, uh, things like that. Ango is Ango is streaming tomorrow. I think he starts it. Well, you can see his, the schedule on his Twitch channel. Uh, Slovak uh, streams when his internet holds up, and he's also part of the Central Europe development team, who's doing a massive, um, a massive project. Uh, uh, free, Shardice, freeware. The project uh, is freeware. It's called Central Europe. Yes. Freeware. Yes. Um. Paradise, as you can see on the screen, that's what his schedule is. Um, I particularly encourage you to check out Friday's stream. Um, oh, and Kango just said in the chat that he might do his first VC stream tomorrow, so that's something to look forward to. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, who else? I think I think Anthony saw some streams. Sometimes, yeah. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Very well done. So, uh, you, sometimes I also mention other people who are in the Central Europe development team, like Swedar, uh, uh, Brand. Brand it, I Let's think see. is in uh, it. Das Tochko. Das Tochko, is that the name? Das Tochko. Is that, the, is that correct? Das, das Tochko. I think, I think Slovak's das buffering tachko. too much. Das, das, das Tochko? Das, das Tochko. Is that correct? Because I keep um. getting that name wrong. <laughs> Let me see if... Kango gets it right, really, over the time. Let's just wait for him to catch up. Say, pear apricot, if you see this message in the YouTube archive. Uh, <laughs> ah, there it is, yes. Uh, pear apricot. Yeah, I, I keep the archive up there. Mm -hmm. um, there's a space there um, that, I, that I keep it in. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I think there's a link to... Uh... Is there a link to your YouTube channel in the Discord server in Twitch? Yeah, there is. The Twitch profile. But people don't have to go there. They really don't. Because at the moment, the YouTube channel is basically only an archive for the streams. I will put on other content there as well. Content. The word content has such a negative connotation. But uh, yes, content. It, it is. It is. If you think about it, it's, there's nothing bad about it. But the I will put it's, that on. It's we'll the appropriate more. word. Yeah, we'll put more mm -hmm. content on there, um, such as trailers, release, uh, well, maybe it's just release trailers, um, other gameplay videos, mm -hmm. uh, also have um, a few other things planned, but I don't have the time for that now, but stuff like that, um, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. There are no ads on it anyway. So for now, bye. Bye.